high school, we did a lot of cup blocks too. Even even receivers <laughs> were cup blocking. Yeah. I guess in college, like, I guess you don't really see it really. Well. I guess because everyone's like in their athletic primes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so are we live? Or oh, that's a good stop. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Here it is. Nah, he threw it away. Oh, hey, good ah, good come touch, Ross. Come on, coach. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I feel like he's mad. He's like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's probably fired up. This guy's three now against one of the best offenses in, in the country. Yeah. He is hyped up. He, he wish he yeah, picked he that wasn't up himself. Like, he wasn't mad. I think he nah, was nah, I think he was hyped up. Fired yeah. up, yeah. I bet he wish he caught it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would have. I would have. I'm like, yeah. Like, what's going on here? That's a terrible punt. Terrible punt. Good Dude, call. Watch it right now. That was a good poison call from Dita. That's something that they didn't do on homecoming. Clayton never made poison calls. And, and it, like, it was bad. That was the only thing that I wanted to talk about. But, uh, I'm going to bring up the live stream and see what's going on here. Yeah, I have no idea. There's 61 people watching. Nothing going on. Well, 61 people who have no commentary with it. We're live. And we are live here from Mango Rose Field. Sorry for the late start there, folks. We had a few technical difficulties. We have it underway now. We have a second and eight for the Misericordia Cougars here facing the FDU Forum Devils. Brady Williams is going to roll out to the right, find Sam Gillison on the right side for a complete pass of five yards. Like I said before, we had the late start here. Billy P as always doing the play-by-play. -play. Join my co-host Kevin. Kevin, good to have you here. Thanks, Billy. It uh, it took us a while. It took us a while. Yeah, we were live. We here. didn't know we were live, but now we know. Yeah. So we so apologize good. for that. So good thing we're like civilized human <laughs> beings. <laughs> to be completely honest. Well, like, it depends who you ask for me. Yeah, but yeah you're right. But uh, we have 12:28 <laughs> here left, and so today's matchup between the the Misericordia Cougars and the FDU Forum Devils. The Misericordia Cougars are undefeated in the conference, and the FDU Forum Devils are one of the top teams in the conference as well as they're having a good year. We have 55 degrees for game time temperature. Clouds should be rolling in. It's a little rainy right now, getting a little misty, but there's no problem there. This yeah. is my favorite day for it's football. A, it's a good day for football. You know what? When it's not too sunny, as a, as a you know receiving wise, like this is the best. Uh, they're gonna punt now. Looks like they couldn't. They got FDU with a three and out on a fire power team, Misericordia. Just like you know they had a three and out versus FDU. So this is good defense so far. Something I did not expect to see today. Um, not a knock on the defense, but just really a, a, a credit to how good these offenses really are. And we have a punt here for MU. They're trying to down the punt, and that will roll in the end zone for a touchback. So while we have a few moments here, we're going to go through a few things. So the Cougars improved to 5-1 overall last week, and they're now 4-0 in the MAC. They won 25-21 with a win at Lebanon Valley last Saturday. Isaiah Williams had 10 for 182, including the game-winning touchdown with a minute 16 left to play. Brady Williams threw for 295 yards and two touchdowns to set a new single-season record with 1,486 yards. Wow. So Cougars had a good week last week, and the Cougars will play at Kings and Albright for the next two weeks in a row before coming home for the last game of the year, last home game, senior day against Lycoming on November 10th. The refs are still working out where the spot the ball will be. will be at the 20-yard line. As we go through it real quick, FDU Florham is 4-2 and two overall, 2-2 two and two in the MAC, and they had a heartbreaking 31-16 loss to Wilkes last week. 
Jagger Green was 20 for 32, 169, and two touchdowns. Christian Camillo and Jose Caceres both had touchdown receptions. Isaiah Turner had 15 tackles. The Devils lead the MAC with 312 passing yards per game and are second in scoring with 33.3 points per game. After you floor them, their defense leads the league with 86.8 rush yards allowed. Very good stat there. And Perizano leads the MAC with 12 touchdowns. FDU Forum will host live coming next Saturday as we have a play here to the right, a run. The back will get about five or so. Yeah, last week FDU suffered heartbreaking loss, like you said, Billy, to, to Wilkes. Um, you know, some, some good spots to come out of that game, but also a lot of sore spots. And there's a lot they have to harp upon for this game today. Um, like you said, uh, Jagger Green had two touchdowns, but he did have three interceptions. Um, a great quarterback in this league, um, Jagger Green. Uh, very uncharacteristic of him. It'll be interesting to see how he comes out today and delivers for this FDU team. Um, as they as they look to improve their season, um, a lot of firepower, just a lot of ups and downs, really peaks and valleys. So um, interesting to see how he comes back from that game today. But on the flip side, Misericordia, another great win, Billy, and the offensive train keeps rolling. Um, like you said, Brady Williams, one rushing touchdown and two throwing touchdowns, and another stat that came out to me that game is zero interceptions for Brady Williams, um, even though he did throw for 295 yards. Um, Isaiah Williams had a great game. Um, Sam Gillison only had two receptions coming on the first drive of last week's game uh, that set up the uh, Dinesente 31-yard field goal. Yeah, exactly. But it was great for Isaiah Williams to step up and become the leading receiver. It's sort of like, like that one-two one punch they have. Exactly, you know, the ham exactly. egg it. When one's not there, the other will be there exactly. to pick them up. But, Billy, I think the X factors of this team really are the, the – other three receivers, Clayton Kelly, Isaiah Solomon, and uh, Josh Dieter. Um, Clayton Kelly is averaging uh, 13 yards per catch. Um, he has zero touchdowns, though, so look alive for that today. Um, Isaiah Williams, um, sorry, Isaiah Solomon has 100 yards on five receptions and two TDs. And Josh Dieter, uh, 6'3", uh, senior receiver, only has 60, uh, 63 yards on five receptions and zero touchdowns, but he's a big end zone threat. It's kind of like a Julio Jones type of thing where everybody should harp on him and it leaves everybody else open. Um, that's something to look forward to for this game. And defensively, on the flip side of the ball, uh, Nick Yeager, senior Nick Yeager, had 10 tackles uh, last week. And Garrett Murray added seven. Garrett Murray also had the interception that sealed the game for the Cougars. Oh, so, oh, that's a rough start. Sorry for the late start, folks, there. If you just joining us, we have a few technical difficulties. We're underway. Just gave you some background information. Should be expecting a good game here. We just had an incomplete pass on third down. That was number 12, Jagger Green. He was trying to find the, intent, the receiver. And he was, like Kevin said, he was trying to find Joe McCain. Could not do it. It's a rough drop across the middle. And now we have a punt underway for FDU. Almost blocked. Little excitement there. And Dean is going to take this ball after letting it bounce once, and he will not go anywhere. He'll get about four yards on that. So the Cougars are going to take over with the ball. Still nothing, nothing. 8-20 here in the first quarter. We have the ball at the 27-yard line here for the MU Cougars. And this week, hopefully, I get the names right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Billy, three keys to the game today from Misericordia, in my opinion, is definitely the offensive attack. Got to keep it rolling, keep everybody moving, keep everybody, put the ball in everybody's hands because everybody is doing work this year thus far. Um, also, you got to keep pressure on Jager Green um, as he's going along. You got to make sure to keep pressure on him considering he is a great quarterback. Great rollout from Brady Williams there. Great rollout from Brady Williams. He's trying to find someone. He chucks it downfield. He has Gilson one-on-one. -on -one. And a great defensive play by FDU. That is number 14. DeAndre Carter. DeAndre Carter, the defensive back, a freshman out of New Jersey, Islin, New Jersey, from JFK Memorial High School. Great play by him. Great play. Seeing a young freshman on the talented, experienced yeah. wide receiver, Sam Gillison. Yep. So that's going to bring up a second down and 10 here. Williams and shotgun. That rollout will lead me into my third key of the game for Misericordia. Definitely give Brady time. Give Brady Williams the time to work and get his offense rolling. Definitely. So Brady Williams is going to fake the handoff on the outside. He's going to keep it and get stuffed only about after a yard or two. 
So that's going to bring up a third and eight here. Like we said, eight minutes left in the first. Very two high-powered offenses. And we've seen a lot of punts and a lot of incompletions yeah. so far. Defense looking very steady. And it hasn't been bad offense. No. Nope. It's been great defense thus far, both sides. Very impressive so far. So here we go, third and eight. Very tough third down. Need a conversion to stay alive here. Looks like the Cougars are looking to the sidelines. There's a change of play. It looks like Williams is going to audible out of shotgun. He has Dallas in the backfield, Jamal Dallas. He has Gillison on the right, Trips on the left. Dallas picking up a block. Williams rolling outside to the left. He's looking for something. He's trying to make something happen, and he gets tackled after a gain of two. And that is number 23, Dane Lupton. Great play by Dane Lupton there. Way to stop Brady and stop the threat of him running for a first. So again, another three and out punt. Yeah, Kev, I mean, like like we talked about, not a lot of offense here, so we have a fourth and five. And that will bring out Misericordia's punter, Chris Lynn. Chris Lynn looking to continue his big year. Had big shoes to fill after Pat Newins and Adam Strogas left. That's a very good punt. Gets it to the 20-yard line. FDU looking for something, and he gets about five yards. The returner on the play there was number 22, and that is Josh Rainey for FDU. FDU, great athletes on FDU. So on punt returns, kick returns, it'll be especially, you know, exciting to see how Misericordia reacts to their shiftiness. I mean, just there, he made two people miss, and he slipped. If he got to the outside, I think he could have got some serious yardage. Three keys to the game for FDU, Billy. I'm definitely saying let Jaeger uh, uh, Green go to work. Um, currently, he has 1,780 yards with 21 touchdowns. So it's very key for them to let him, you know, give him time and let him go to work there. Um, second, improve special teams. Last week, they gave up a safety um, on a botch snap for a punt. And then that punt, and then they had to punt it away, and that resulted in a touchdown for Wilkes. Right there, you know, that's nine points. Right. Ooh, as number so we have a, it was a screen pass to the left. It was about a gain of five, and now we have a down player for FDU, injured on the field. That is number 52, the offensive lineman Dylan Gonzalez. Dylan Gonzalez here, 6'1", 265, offensive lineman, sophomore out of Little Ferry, New Jersey. Hopefully he's, everything's okay. They look like he's, they're holding his knee, but I really hope everything's okay. So with this injury timeout, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back in 30 seconds. You are here, MCN 87, the YouTube channel for the Misericordia Cougars. Stay right here. And we are back here. MCN 87 YouTube channel brings up a second and five. Gonzalez was limping off the field. They got him off the field. We now have a fake Jagger trying to run to the left, and he will run out of bounds. Good play by Green there. And it looks like Jagger. First. Looks like Jagger was getting a little chippy there on the sidelines, sort of chirping with the Misericordia sideline a little bit. Johnny Pearson was the one who forced him out of bounds. Johnny Pearson having a very good year, sophomore, yeah, doing a great year. job that outside player. linebacker spot. Yep. Michael Beck, his counterpart, a middle linebacker, doing yep. a great job as well. Another sophomore. I think Beck is a junior. Or a junior, excuse me, yeah. 
And there will be a fumbled snap. Jagger can't recover from the botched snap, so he will just fall on the ball. And that is going to be a big loss for FTU. That's, that's, that hurts. That hurts. You know, you just got a first down. You're looking to keep the ball moving. And right away, you, you know, you're, you're another 10 yards back from, from your goal. So now it will be a second and 18 from the 27. That was about a 10-yard loss just on that play alone. So that will sort of stop FTU. Here, you can't make a big loss here. Keep the pressure on. Keep it going. Jagger has a pocket. Nope. There's no one around him. He's looking to run, and he will, and he will get knocked out of bounds after a big hit on the edge from number 28, Damian yes. Diaz. Damian Diaz is a name we've called a bunch this year. He has had a lot of big sticks, so great play for Damian there, and great form tackle, really wrapping up at the legs, getting him out of bounds. Great play from Damian Diaz, sophomore. Last year he converted from a, a wide receiver, slot receiver, into a DB, which Mark Ross, you know, loves to do. He had also Vincent Mald uh, Maldonado last year, Vincente, um, who did the same exact thing. And um, you know what? They make good DBs. They're quick, and Damian likes to hit, man. He's a good player. Uh, we said it last year a lot, and we've been saying his name a lot this year. It'll be interesting how his future holds here. Yeah, definitely so. That'll bring up about third and 15, Jagger. He fakes the handoff. He's looking to roll out. What a great fake. He dodges one defender. Now he is running to the right, tries to dodge another, and that'll be number 44, Zach the Sack Smith, who forces him out of bounds there. Good job by Zach not to be too aggressive as he was running out of bounds. Good pursuit angle Good pursuit by Smith though. there. Yeah, no, it really, because the thing is, you got to make sure that you get him out of bounds because just because he's running towards that way doesn't mean he's going to. <laughs> Bless you, Billy. Oh, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Did not mean to get that on air, but we are here anyways. Fourth and 15 now, punt for FDU. A very low punt. It will bounce a little in FDU's favor. It's going to roll down to about the 37-yard line. So Mr. Cordy is going to take over there. Not a great punt there from FDU. Punt, no, but it rolled. It, it rolled. did it get some roll at the rolls. end there. Looked like my punts when I was in about <laughs> fifth grade. I was trying to accomplish the same thing. Never could. <laughs> so Mr. Cordy will now take over the ball. Billy, let me play you a song on the world's smallest violin. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, the Red Sox are going to a World Series, so I don't know how many violins I need right now, Kevin. <laughs> Well, here we are, we have a first and 10 for the Misericordia Cougars. 37 yard line, Brady Williams in shotgun. Clayton Vleck in the game for one of the first times today. He has one receiver to the left, one receiver to the right. Williams takes the snap. He's looking right to throw. He has Isaiah Flockavelli Williams. Flockavelli two just came out actually by by uh, Waka Flocka Flames. There you I, go. I bet Isaiah is very happy about that <laughs> one. <laughs> so that will be about a six-yard gain. Seven-yard gain. Second and three from the 45-yard line here. Cougars looking for the play called Tony Scher, the tight end, in the game for one of the first times today. Sam Gillison will wind up all the way on the left. Looks like Isaiah Williams is in the slot. Very run-heavy formation. They will fake the run, they'll look to Williams on the screen to the left, and after a big pile up and a lot of blocks, we do get a first down, four yard gain there. Cougars will advance the chains here. We're starting to get a lot of sun here. Looks like the clouds are rolling out. A beautiful day here in Dallas, PA, folks. There's about 2.40 left in this first quarter. Still have things at nothing, nothing. We're gonna get some scores for you after the first quarter around the league. See how other top teams are doing. Yeah. Here's our right now, 4-0 in the MAC. They're tied with Delaware Valley. They're both 5-1, both on a five-game win streak as well. Yep. That's always a good sentence. When you're when you're in the same category as Del Val, yes. very good. Oh, good so run. it'll be a handoff to Vleck here to left side. He cuts up the middle, and he is going to have almost enough for a first down. Billy. The way the, the Cougars have been running their, their their running backs has been so efficient. They really have been like a three-headed dragon. Um, <laughs> they, they really have. Between David Cromwell, who has 396 net yards, he's averaging 5.4 yards per carry, and he has three touchdowns. He was just in contention for uh, D3.com um, 
running back. Best running back best in running the back in the MAC. I don't know. Did he win it? I think he came in second. Came in I second. Okay. Yeah. I know second. he was very close though. But as a sophomore, that's you know that's very big. Uh, but then you have Clayton Bleck, who started the year as the starter. He hurt his hamstring, I believe, in the second week. He was out for one week. He strained it. Um, and he's come back, and David Cromwell, you know, took advantage of, of Black being out, you know, next man out, that whole mentality. But Clayton Black didn't totally lose his spot. He came back, and he's been putting up great yards, you know, 180 yards on only 33 attempts. He's averaging, like, 5.5 yards per carry. Uh, which is great, and he has some receiving yards, uh, yeah, which is new for him. You're so definitely right great. about that, Kev. They have Leck, they have Dallas, they have Cromwell, those three backs right there. If Leck was able to get enough on another carry, so he got enough for, excuse me, he got enough for the first down there. Oof. And it looks like Delay there game. will be a delay of game call on Misericordia, so that's going to back him up five yards and start with a first and 15 instead. That's a penalty that's going to drive coaches crazy. Drive coaches crazy, but I'm I'm happy that they didn't take the timeout. There's part of me that hates them taking timeouts on delay of game penalties because it is only five yards, and when you have receivers like these, it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, I was just watching the Michigan game before, and oh, now Clayton Fleck with a great run. And see, that's why it doesn't matter. That's why you really shouldn't take timeouts all the time for delay of games. And you're definitely right about that, Kev. Leck did have a great run right up the middle. He got about 10 yards. Leck's going to stay in the game. He's had three carries in a row. He's doing great. And he got eight yards. Then he got about three to pick up the first. Now he got about another 10 on that yeah. carry. You know, like I was saying, I was watching Michigan. Uh, they're playing Michigan State. Uh, third and two. Big game. Third and two. Clock is about to hit zero. Patterson takes a timeout, right? Takes a timeout, whatever. Yep. They come back out from the timeout and run a run play, third and two. Like, after taking a timeout against the best rush defense in the country, it makes no sense to me. And I'm assuming they didn't get it. No, they did not yeah, get it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like, Tim Harwell, obviously, great coach. But, I mean, there's something about the taking the timeout where it just doesn't make sense to me. I guess I'm the, the new type of football thing. You're definitely right about that, Kev. Vleck did pick up enough for another first down there. So good job to Clayton. That will bring an end to quarter one. It's still nothing, nothing here at Mangelsdorf Field. Cougars put a nice drive together. They're going to have a first and 10 from FDU's 29-yard line. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back in 30 seconds. We are back here at Mangelsdorf Field. First and 10. There was a handoff to Williams out of shotgun. And Williams did not get a lot there. Hey, Williams. On the rush. My friend and colleague here, Kevin Brown, is going to try and get some scores for us in a little trying. bit. He's trying. <laughs> He's trying his best over there. Uh, here we go. Uh, Stevenson is up on Wilkes University 20-7. to seven. Um, And that's the only score that's out right now but um that's the only score that's out right now 20 to 7 stevenson up on wilkes so not uh, that's an interesting score you know wilkes i mean i know it's early i know it's 27 but wilkes doing an all right job yep they've had a lot of games closely contended this year so but nonetheless brady williams is looking to throw he had number three for isaiah, isaiah solomon, solomon. Old man Zay there. <laughs> I feel like Isaiah Solomon's been here the last 10 years. You know, he, he, he had a little <laughs> he had injury issues, um, and it's great to see him bounce back for, for his final season here. Um, 
Yeah, but injury issues, and that's why he's been around uh, for, for a little bit, um, you know, for the love of the game. Yeah, Zay's been around for a little bit. Great job coaching these young guys, really getting yeah. them conditioned to yep. the game experience. Yep. I mean, he's been through the worst of times here and now the best of times yes. as well. So he knows what it's like. Third down and 10 here for the Cougars. It's going to be a fake handoff. Williams is going to try and find some room up the middle. He does. He has enough for about nine yards. He does not have enough for the first down, however. Excuse me, not nine yards. I'll go with six yards instead. I think they're going to go for it, Billy. Looks like Williams fell forward a little more. I saw him at the end of the play. Ooh. Fourth and, what, three? Fourth and three? Ooh. I don't know. What do you run? Fourth and four, fourth and three. I think, Kev, they're stacking the box right now up the middle. It looks like they're going to show pressure. You Get have one-on-one -on -one with Zay on the outside. You have one-on-one -on -one with Gillison on the other side. They're looking for Gillison, oh, and he cannot get it. He tried for a one-handed catch, but they do throw in the zip in the banana peel at the end of the play there. Yeah. A flag on the play, and that we are. Go I'm going to bet my life. That it's going to be on the defense. Yes, yeah. You know what? That was, it was not bad defense from number 14, um, DeAndre Carter, who has been on uh, Sam Gillison all day and been doing a very good job on him. You know what? It was just a little bit too much contact at the point of the ball coming in. His back was turned. It wasn't completely there. Great try. Just, you know, a little, a little superiority from Sam Gillison there. Yep. So they'll take it from the 10 and be first and goal for the Cougars. Again, great try from, the, uh, from DeAndre Carter um, on Sam Gillison. He's been Was doing really well all day. He had that great pass breakup. Yeah, no, uh, don't let that get in your head. As a freshman, you can't let that get in your head. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep doing you. You got outside again. Uh, Kevin, Kevin's definitely right about that. Hand off, excuse me, no handoff. Williams fakes the handoff. He will take on the quarterback keeper up the middle. So the call there from before on that fourth down did end up indeed being pass interference. So that brought a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down for the Cougars. So now they're gonna have a second and goal from about the eight or seven yard line. Cougars looking to get the first score of the game today. Still nothing, nothing. They're looking to the sideline. Looks like Hatcher is trying to audible the play to the booth and get that down to a signal caller down there on the sidelines. They now, I wanted to say fake the handoff, but he keeps the handoff to Vleck on interesting play call. Vleck takes the ball. You know what though, Vleck has been averaging like eight yards a carry today. Exactly. You know I mean, that's, that's I, I like that call. So actually. they give it to Vleck on the outside, but the interesting thing is a lot of the runs have been up the middle and inside. And there they tried to give it to him on the outside, try to run that outside zone to the left. So interesting call there by OC Mike Hatcher, offensive coordinator, try to spruce things up a little bit. Coming in freshman tight end, Dwayne Sharp. Dwayne Sharp, that's probably one of the first times we've ever called yeah. Dwayne Sharp's yep. name all year. Coming out. So we are going to have a fake handoff. Williams looking oh, wide open. Left. Wide open, Isaiah Flock of Billy Williams. And that is a touchdown, K Ugers. There we go. Kevin finally catching on. I only <laughs> say K Ugers when they score. So that'll shout bring out him. Seinfeld. Shout yeah. out Seinfeld. Shout I out Mr. NYC. Mr. Kruger. <laughs> Kruger Industrial Smoothing with George Costanza as his employee. <laughs> so shout out there. That brings up a 6 nothing game. Matt Denisini on for the PAT, the extra point. And it is okay. nothing but good That's right down good. the middle. Great play call. Great. Great. I, I wish we could get a replay for ourselves because <laughs> I want to see where it broke down because Isaiah Williams is wide open back corner, wide open. But Nobody it, was, it was because of the play call. Yeah. When you have Williams rolling out to the right and they brought Sharp yeah. out to the right, you think it's going to be one of those Aaron Rodgers type yeah. bootleg where he's looking for the tight end on the right yep. side. Then they have Williams, who was originally lined up on the right, come all the way across the formation on yep. that play and then be right wide open in the middle of the end zone. So an outstanding play there for Misericordio. And that will give him a seven nothing lead here. 11 Finally a score. A finally a score. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I was 
making the over under for this game for combined I points. I was probably going to make it around 57. Yeah, and I would have over under 57, 57 and a half. And right now it's <laughs> only seven I know, up. And I would have bet the over. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, that proves how much, how good of a sports better I am. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh. so it'll be seven nothing. Let's hope you didn't pick the over. Cougars now kicking off here. But it is early, Kev. I mean, we've seen a lot of these games start oh, off very yes. slow and then Definitely. take off. So it is very early. So number 22 on FDU feels the ball, makes one guy miss, makes another guy, almost Carrasso. another guy miss. A good shoestring tackle that brings him down around the 24-yard line. That was number 22. No, Joe Grasso had the shoestring. No, the the carrier for FDU. Oh, the car yeah, yeah, yeah. It was number 22, Josh Rainey. Josh Rainey on the kickoff return. There we go. It was confirmed it was Josh Rainey. Joe Grasso, though, on the tackle. I don't want to discredit him for that. Rainey is uh, a running back for FDU. Uh, last week, I guess they must have tried to run a trick play, though, because on the website it said that he had an interception. Uh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> so now there will be a pass out to the right at the line of scrimmage. That will be about a four-yard gain. Interesting thing to see here, Kev. On the FTU sidelines, it looks like they have four qu or three quarterbacks dressed. Yes. Yeah. So I think they have four total right now on the yeah. sidelines. They have some interesting signs there that I could see right now that signs, I can't yeah. say. You can't really say. <laughs> so it will be. I think it's Jack poop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Jack poop emoji. Jagger hands it off. Or Jagger, Jaeger. Watch now. We'll get We'll get a call later this week saying, uh, yeah, guys, can't say poop. <laughs> it was, uh, so the official name is Jaeger, even though it's spelled it's, it's like Mick, That's Mick it Jagger's Mick Jagger, yeah. grandson. So I, think, I thought Jaeger was the appropriate, <laughs> was the appropriate one. So we're going to go with Jaeger there. So Jaeger is your quarterback number 12. Jaeger Green, yep. Don't listen to us here. What do we know? I've been I've been bouncing. I've been <laughs> yeah, I've been oh, trying to circle. Deer. I've look been trying to circle in the I wonder if you can get that on. Can you get that on camera? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great tackle. And a great tackle. Like I said again, the hitman for the Misericordia Cougars, Damian Diaz. Damian Diaz has had a lot of those hits today. He's had a lot of those hits all year. And he lays it, lays the stick. Coach Ross fired up for his defense. He is their head coach great. and also yeah. their defensive coordinator. Yeah. So he is excited down there on the sideline. Ooh. I don't know if the mic and picked that up, but absolute fire from Coach Ross. And and Coach love. Ross was fired up, and then it looks like he chewed out Joe Cress on that sideline. No, 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 I think he's hyping him up. He said, he said, they can't beat you. He said, it's third and one, and you made that stop. They can't beat you. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's getting hyped up. He's excited. All right, absolute fire. He, he's, he he's is excited. Look at him. Yeah, he is very excited. I have not seen Mark Ross a lot That's like good this in the in the four years I've known him, the three years I've known him. We have not seen Coach Ross like this in a while. Very good sign. You know what, Billy? Uh, a, a thing throughout the week that they've been harping on is FDU. Um, I don't know. I don't know how D3 works, but apparently they applied for a bowl game already. And you have to be you have to be even. Your record has to be even to have a bowl game. So they, they look a little better than that right week. now. But the thing is, they applied for it this week. And so they must have thought, like, and, and Mr. Cordy has a better record than them right now. They must have thought that this was going to be a cakewalk for them. For them to apply for the bowl game without having the even record yet and having to face Ms. Accordia this week, I don't know. It's a little bit of a, I, I like, I like the, the call. FDU did I this? Like, yes, I like the call from FDU. I like that. I like bring it to him, but I also love this. I also love Coach Ross hyping it up and being like, they want, they think they can roll over you. Everybody thinks they can roll over you, but guess what? They can't. This is a different You're year. Right about it's a that, different Kev. team. It's a different us. So I like that. I like it from both sides. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I like Second fire. down and eight carry there. It will be good for about three or four yards. Going to bring up a third or four. And just a little quick side. And a lot of familiar faces on the FDU sideline. Kevin and I, we played against them a bunch. One of their assistant coaches, John Murphy, was actually my high school coach, oh, my right. freshman and sophomore cool, year. Cool. He was at Massac Monroe, Connecticut, uh, Massac High School for about 18 years, brought home two state championships. Wow. And uh, interesting face to see today. Go try and say hi to him after the game, but 
Nonetheless, right. Williams here on third down and four. He's looking to the left. Great defensive play. That is number 14. DeAndre Carter. DeAndre Carter, a name we called a lot today. He came across, stuck his hand out, and got the deflection at the end of the play. It looked like Gillison was going for the sideline. Yeah. Tony Toe Tap, yep. Antonio Brown type catch DeAndre there. Carter. DeAndre and Carter. This is, you know, a couple plays now that he's been doing great on Sam Gillison. And um, like I said, that was that's one of my keys of the game for them. It was the last one. I didn't mention it. Lockdown receivers. That, that was the last thing I had on my, on my sheet here. Um, they did, you know, and he's doing a great job of that, containing Sam Gillison. So, looks like Dead. Chris oh. Lynn is going to have a not so good punt, and it looked like Coach Ross was less than pleased with Chris yeah. Lynn there. Yeah, that's a rough punt. Uh, he probably came off his foot a little wrong, and the wind's blowing in. Wind's blowing the towards wind, him. The wind is blowing towards him right now. So we have 8.25 in the second quarter here. 7-0, Cougars on top. 8.25 on the second quarter here, like I said again. With the way this defense is, though, I don't want to announce there's jinx it, but I don't, I don't know. That's not a terrible I, one. <laughs> Kevin, I am told right now we are having a little difficulties with our scoreboard. Oh, okay. I was just informed of. So we're going to keep you updated on the scoreboard and time there. We'll keep you updated on the score and the time. We'll keep it going. And as we work up, oh, yep, I just got, I just got a text too. <laughs> I'm looking at it on my, on my watch here, yep. So, Nick Yeager and Zach Smith in on that tackle. Second and 11. That was a loss of one on the play. Yeager now in shotgun. He's going to have two to the right, two to the left. The running back will be on the left side. Cougars have four down linemen. A lot of cut blocks on that play, as you see up front. Great tackle by Mike Beck there. Jaeger, the pass is complete to number 13, Christian Camillo. Billy, and we said this a lot um, before we were officially on the air. Um, <laughs> we were saying how cut blocking in college, you don't really see it a ton. Yep. And and you know what? Um, this is now twice so far. This time, they have the entire line cut block, uh, which is impressive. Uh, the, considering very impressive it looks like the Cougars they fake the rush they tried there. the cut block again could not get Ooh. there a Ooh. great catch great catch bobbled it and bobbled it and then caught it stumbling and bumbling Al Nazir Blackman with the reception great there. catch great he got, hit from Zach Orzel I was about to say, on the he outside got stuck by Orzel right after he caught that ball but I mean way to stay with it I mean that's a big hit that's a boom and you know what? He stuck on to it. And I, I, love, I love some good receptions. I love great receiving. And that's definitely one of them right there. Great job there from Will, um, from FDU. Takes a screen. Oh, got another screen here. Another screen here. Up the middle. Complete again. That is number six. Mike great job there. Panzerino. Fake the bubble and hit the screen right on target. Great job by Green, Jaeger Green. So Jaeger to Green connection there. No, Jaeger Green is the quarterback's name. Oh, well. It's passing Green, <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Kevin trying to get me confused up and, uh, here. So great connection from Jaeger to Panzerino. And that will bring up a second and one here. And it will be a run draw. up the middle. He makes one man miss, then met by a whole swarm of Cougars there. That is number 44, Steve Iannone there on the handoff. That's a great draw. Good play calling from FDU thus far on this drive. Uh, let's see if they can keep it up and tie, tie this up. So let's see what Jaeger Green has up his sleeves here on first and 10. It is another handoff to the same exact man. He tries to bounce it to the left a little bit. He does find a lot of room. He will get pushed down after a gain of about eight yards or so. So it looks like FDU is now getting this running game underway yeah. as well. What was that number 44? That was number 44 again. Steve. So Steve Iannone, they're going oh, okay. to the hurry up offense here. Jaeger Green trying to get the Cougars on their heels. Brings up a second and one. He fakes the count, fakes the run, tries to go oh, across the middle, and he does. And it's a complete pass to Mike Panzerino. Panzerino with a great 
one-handed catch across the reception. middle. He was the defense had him smothered, and he was still able to catch it anyways, one-handed. And what an absolute outstanding play there for FTU. Safety Jared Skids was coming across, and he looked like he was caught in between whether he wanted to hit him or try and catch the ball. Um, a couple weeks ago for homecoming, if you remember, I think Jared Skids had a uh, a targeting call against him, or 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 something about that, and uh, it looked like he tried to change it up. So and got caught in between, didn't know what to do. I ain't known there tries to run on the right side, and he will have nowhere to go because that is a stop by number 50, the defensive end, the freshman, Jason Anderson, went to Dallas High School from Shavertown. So local, local person there representing the Cougs. Good job by Anderson, the freshman, filling in on the right side there. Not letting that offensive tackle get the edge on him. He set the edge, exactly what you want to do as a defensive end. So we do have a second and seven here for FDU, the Devils. And they will try and find Iannone through the left side. He's trying to get up the middle, and he hit that hole hard. He did, and he leaped forward as he was getting tackled. Uh, great drive so from him right now. Great drive. Iannone has about a four-yard gain. Brings up a third and three or so. And we're going to see what FDU does here. Do you throw the ball, or do you run it? Kevin, I am going to – I think they hand it off again. Yeah. They have the running game working They're right now. They're taking out I they have, they have the Cougars on their heels. They are taking out I know. They're going to bring in number seven, Robert Blakely, the running back. Okay. And there you oh. go. It was a fake. He's in. It was a quarterback draw. He found the lane up the left okay. side. And that is a touchdown for FDU. The rush for, I thought it was Jaeger. Now I heard the other announcer oh. saying Jagger. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to go with here, folks. I'm just going to start saying Green. Green, green the quarterback green number 12. Quarter, yeah, you know what? You know what? <laughs> uh, we're going to yeah, take right? out, we're going to take the independent yeah, variable out of exactly. play here. Oh, good block. And on the PAT, oh, while I was talking, there was a block. Then the ball got audible, or the <laughs> ball got lateral. The ball gets lateral uh, again, and Skids will get tackled at the 50-yard line. So great block on the point after there. A bunch of laterals for Ultiu, for trickery <laughs> there, for whoop, and the Cougars there, and the PAT is no good. That gets this crowd talking a little bit. The crowd's a little more energetic yeah. than they used to be. Yep, yep. You know what? And that's what you need. After a touchdown, you give up a touchdown, everyone starts to get quiet. Everyone's like, ooh, let's see how we bounce back. And that's how you bounce back. Special teams work, and you block that extra point. Now, they, I know they didn't take it in, but, you know, even though with the laterals, everybody knew what to do, you know, uh, right from the start. So, so that's fun. So now the kickoff will come. That's something Mark Ross uh, emphasizes on, special teams play. And we say this every week, um, and he's been saying it for four years. It, it all comes with special teams. Philly, what's your stat on the special teams wins? 93% of the time, Kevin, when someone scores on special teams, they win the football game. Yep. So but that's definitely something to look We for. have to go back there and go to a Castleton State game about three weeks ago. Yeah. Or I think even a month ago. My goodness, that was yeah. a long time ago. They Season's scored. Time, Billy. They scored twice on special teams. Yeah. Lost that game and they lost like Yeah, yeah. So well, you know, sometimes <laughs> it doesn't work out. I mean, you know. You know, 60% of the time, oh, it works all the Rocket time. Right Kevin. to his chest. So, oh, so we will have. He's got some room. some room. Williams trying to find an edge on the left. A good Great tackle. tackle. A even better tackle. And good sportsmanship there. Yeah, number 22, J Josh Rainey. Uh, the return by Isaiah Williams, Flacavelli. Isaiah Flacavelli there with a great return. Gets it to about the 49-yard line. Great return. Great field position now. And uh, this this kind of knocks away, uh, even if they get a three, uh, you know, three downs in a row here at FDU, but it eliminates the punting opportunity, really. I mean... You know, to get the punt. Yeah, yeah, Mid McCordia, less this year than many other years, but you know, they're notoriously known for going on fourth down. Oh, play, uh, delay a game? We do have a, f a flag on the field Ooh. here. 
it will be a delay of game. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. So my goodness, has this first half flown by? Flown by. Kevin and I, we didn't even know we were live on the air. <laughs> for like the first for six like minutes. the first five or six <laughs> minutes of the game. We were just small talk again, and talking about the game. Good thing we are decent human beings. I'm not going to say we're good human beings, but we're, we're decent. at least decent. We try, we try our best to attempt to be a good human great being. Great catch. But speaking of good human beings, we have a great play there from... Brady Williams to Isaiah Williams. So that's a Williams to Williams connection. You've heard that a bunch this year. <laughs> and that is about a four yard gain. Or excuse me, I forgot there was a five yard yeah. penalty. So that brings up second and six. That's why I thought it was a four yep. yard gain. Actually turned out to be a nine yard gain. Four, nine, you know, potato, potato, yep. Kev. Exactly. A lot of space on the outside there. A lot of space on the outside. We do have, it looks like David Cromwell is the running back. He tries to find room up the right side on the handoff there. And cut up. he will get about two yards. Two yards, yeah. I, I, I thought maybe he got yards. a little more, but I guess not. So we do have a third and three here. Sure, coming out of the game. Josh Dieter coming out of the game as well. We run. are going to have Sam Gillison on the right side, one-on-one. -on -one. Brady in the shotgun. We do have trips to the left. Carter not impressed. Yep, yep, he's backing off now. So that, that's something that they wanted to see there. They have trips. So it looks Solomon, like the Cougars. Kelly and Williams. They're running down the play clock here. They have five seconds. They do get the ball snapped. Oh. It is going to be Cromwell right up the middle. Big hole there Big created by the Misericordial offensive line. Great job by them, and it's a great play for the Cougars. And that is going to be a first down for the Cougars. That has been their key this year. This offensive line has been golden. Um, a bunch of seniors, a bunch of upperclassmen, all the, with the exception of Bobby Burke, who is one of the strongest players on this team. Um, they have been great. They, they have really kicked it up a notch, and it's something that they've been and harping Cro on. Cromwell trying to find room on the outside again, and he does find a lot of room uh, for another first down. He did have more room. It seems like he slipped just a little bit at the end. Great, great block on the outside by Dieter, uh, by Joshua Dieter, wide receiver, and Cromwell just tripped on his ankle, and, and, and he could have gotten an extra 10 yards, maybe even more. Yes, you're exactly right about that, Kev. So that will bring up a first down. Clock still ticking. Tick, 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 tick. 109 left in the first half here. Second quarter, 7-6 to six Cougars. Cromwell up the middle again. He will get stuffed for a one-yard gain. The, cl the clock continues the roll here. 54 seconds and counting down. And Ross just absolutely chewed out the referee there. And he went right up to the ref really? and screamed about? timeout. Oh, timeout. <laughs> and he just looked at his sideline and just yelled something back. So as you can see, very important game. Ross is extremely fired up. There has extremely been fired up. a little, I, I want to say, a little rivalry for this game with the Cougars. And right now, Kevin just alerted me. Zach Smith is heading to the locker room about a minute early here. Helmet off with the trainer with following. the trainer, so he's going to get evaluated. Hopefully it's nothing serious, though. It looked like he was walking all right, so maybe he will be evaluated for something such as a concussion. But we will keep you updated on that when we get a chance to. His return is going to be questionable for today. So now this brings up a second and eight. Second and eight for the Cougars on the 19. Red zone area, correct? Red zone area. <laughs> Had a little brain laugh for a second. <laughs> so it will be in the red zone, just like Kevin said. It took me a little second to <laughs> say yes, yes it was. But Cromwell looking for room. He tries to cut it back to the left side. Ooh. The ball is out. He got tackled around the 11 yellow line. The ball is out. They're wrestling for it at the bottom of the pile, and it looks like... I think Misericordia has it. Yeah, Misericordia has it. Good and job by Anthony Schur getting it in there. Tasmanian devil, man. <laughs> he was he was flinging around down Miser there. Misericordia does recover that fumble. The clock is still ticking. There's 42 seconds and counting down left. There's about a third and four here for the Cougars. And I see a bunch of whistles here. I think a timeout after you. I think that's the call here. I'm still trying to get a signal from the referee. 
we are still trying to get signals yeah. from the referees. Yep. Nobody's saying anything, but timeout FDU. So um, timeout FDU. They tried to get a quick a quick one off. Well, interesting time for FDU to call a timeout. I don't know if they had players on the field, really. I think that might have been it. I think Misericordia tried to run it and get it really quick. I think Brady Williams saw something that he, maybe everybody else didn't. Trying to get it off quick. As I saw him, as soon as he got the snap, he looked and turned towards uh, the right end zone. So maybe he was trying to get a quick playoff. That maybe definitely saw could have been the case there, Kev. There is about 36 seconds left. It's still seven to six here. FDU is down one point. We'll bring up around a third and five here. Crucial third and five, 36 seconds left. Williams looking to throw. He has Gillison one-on-one -on -one in the end zone. Okay. He comes down with it. That, that would have been an NFL Gillison. touchdown. Sam, 7-11, number 11. Sam Gillison, touchdown K. Ugers. Touchdown K. Ugers there. Makes it 13 to six, Misericordia. That's a big score going into halftime. We, we have been Especially with Misericordia getting the ball at the half. This is huge. We have been undefeated since I started doing that. We are also <laughs> undefeated when I wear contacts on game day. So once again, my contacts go. are in. So I can't That's switch it. up any of my rituals. You know that, Kev? Oh, he, ooh. Oh See, my goodness. this is an issue here. Zach Smith is in the locker room, and nobody reported that to Coach Ross. They had to take a timeout because they didn't have uh, 11 men on the field. They only had 10. And, oh and, my goodness. and Ross turned around and yep. let out a very big Zach Smith yell. I, I would imitate I it, but I think I'll blow out the, uh, <laughs> the radio. I think you could have heard Coach Ross is yelling Binghamton, New York there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. And and you know what, though? That's, that's, that's the coaching staff's fault. Somebody has to relay to the head coach, especially when he's special teams, you know. That Zach Smith that is Zach out. Smith is out. He's out. They, he's in the log, he's going to evaluate for injury right now. they have to the next room. one up. Whoever the next one up is also has to be alive. And that's good anyway. Dennis Sene, so PAT, no ice in the kick Dennis there, Senny, man. He is running. Right down the middle. Dennis Senny did have a, a few problems last year. They rotated kickers in and out for the last few years. I think Dennis Senny's finally finding his stride this year. Has had a great year this year. Continues to keep it up. Mr. Cordia is ranked 35th out of 139 colleges in the area around here. We just found out academically. We're a great academic So always, always, especially like when it comes to sports and stuff, we always harp on our, our student athletes being students first and, and it really shows. Uh, me, personally, I was an MAC conference scholar athlete, Billy. Not, oh not to brag or anything. My goodness. Not to brag. I don't even I know was, if I could do the broadcast. And that is on my resume. I, I don't That's even, a fun fact. Kev, I don't even know if I could do the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, you know, I do have a 363, but Ooh, I, I never did you. play, so I never really got, like, the actual. <laughs> 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 Always was a backup, living that backup. Alex oh, I was, life. I was, too. I was, too. But <laughs> technically, I was still on the MAC uh, Scholar Athlete. Okay, I guess I was, too, roll, then. The honor roll. Yeah, I guess I was. was. But that is on my resume. So Ooh. we have a Ooh. return here up the middle. And that is number 22 for FDU. Trying to find a name for you. Josh Rainey. Josh Rainey, and then he was uplifted and absolutely TJ lifted off Simmons. his feet. I think that's a freshman. If I, if My I'm goodness. Correct, right, TJ Simmons. What a stick here. So, Kevin and I, there's 25 seconds left for yeah, reminiscing. Freshman linebacker. Reminiscing about our old days, how we were both on the all-MAC academic team. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only all-MAC team we yeah, were on. ever. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, here we have a first down and 10 for Green. Green does have a receiver open to the right. He is going to run Ooh. out of bounds after about a nine yard. My goodness, it's so hard to see where they spot the ball. Up. No, it's, only, it's, only about only six, right, it's about a six yard <laughs> game. I'm that trying to off. say maybe they have it up for the first down. <laughs> and he's off. out here getting six yards. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. So that will be far side. It's hard for us to see. <laughs> it really is. Well, they're coming towards <laughs> us, so I don't know if we have an excuse there. But there is. It's 14-6, 18.7 seconds left here in the first half. FDU has two timeouts. The Cougars have one. 
Green looking across Good the pass. middle. And num that is number six again. Number six was absolutely smothered there, but came down with the Mike ball anyways. Panzerino. 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 Mike Panzer Shrek Panzerino there. <laughs> So a big week last week, if I'm correct, too. I, I, mean, I don't have stats. So that will personally. bring up a first down. FDU is going to use their second timeout. So they do have one timeout remaining. They have the field over halfway. It's at the 46-yard line of the Cougars. So Kev, with eight or 13 seconds left, you will have one timeout. The clock does stop when you get a first down. You could have the possible. You could have a few options. Here. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know. Especially, again, like we said, FDU, offensive firepower. Um, yeah, very, like, you know, throw the ball down. Let's, let's see. Make Misericordia work. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, Panzerino, uh, Panzerino right now has a league best 131 receiving yards per game. And he leads the MAC with 12 touchdowns. I mean, I say throw it up for him. Let him run a route. Let's throw it up. Let's see what you can do. I say run one out. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a hitch in a corner. That uh, could work. Them. Yeah, they're definitely going to look for something on the sidelines outside. here. Maybe a maybe, short maybe, out route, yeah. five yard exactly. out route, maybe ten yard out route. To the outside, yeah. Yeah, come back to the outside. He's yeah, definitely. Pressure. I don't think he's. Well, they do yeah. still have one timeout, so I think at this point, with 13 seconds left, you do try and advance it, try to get in the field goal range yeah. at least. But they're going to need, I think, 20 more yards or so just yeah. to do that. So he could look across the middle here. The safeties are deep for the Cougars. Green takes the snap. He's That's looking. What they did. He's under pressure. He's rolling out to the right, and he's just going to run out of bounds. A smart play by Green. He knows that doing that will stop the clock. Billy, not to toot my own horn. Guess what they ran on the far side? What they run, Kev? Hitch in a corner. A hitch in a corner. There you go. <laughs> four, four, four. Pan Panzerino. Former wide receiver yep. here, Kevin Brown, giving us some insight there. Yep. Yep. Panzerino ran the. Uh, Ran the hitch, and I believe that's number 80. 80 Frank. Oh, uh, Di Matina. Uh, Frank Di Matina. Fun fact. High, my high school. St. Really? Peter's Boys High School. Yep. I forgot he played for FDU, so there you go, Frank. Good corner out from Frank there. And that's going to be a timeout taken for FDU. Interesting. Okay, so another interesting timeout there. Very interesting because, well, I guess at the same time, you have 6.6 .6 seconds left, so I guess you really only do have time for one more play, I guess I would say. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. We're not, we're, we aren't in the NFL. It we don't have Aaron Rodgers <laughs> slinging. I mean, that's very oh true. Oh, my goodness. That man's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So while we have. Our Jets are looking good, though. While we, I was about to say, while we have a break <laughs> here. For those of you who follow pro, New York Jets, me and Kevin are humongous Jet fans up here. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> worst <laughs> life decision. For this year, it's looking great. Worst life decision <laughs> I made my whole life. But nonetheless, <laughs> they are. a Red they, Sox fan. I'm a, I'm a Mets well, fan. Well, I'm Boston right. everything, and then, yeah, I, I got the Jets Yeah, you're in Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, the, that's the, the, state, the state that people drive through to get to Boston. Textbook. Or New York. <laughs> that's how, they they just, drive that's back how and people forth. describe Connecticut as. <laughs> so here we go. We are back here. We have a second and ten. Green looking to throw. He's, roll he's got up. he's got time. Uh, he's way chucking that short, thing as short. deep as he can, oh. and the ball Is there gets. A catch? A no. Who has the ball? So it looked like the ref there, like he didn't say it was incomplete. He just said no. it was the end of the first half there. But I mean, it's still going to be halftime regardless. Yeah. So it's going to be 14 to six here. 14 to six, Misericordia Cougars. We're going to go to a little bit of a break. Halftime will be around 20 minutes or so. We've had some good showings. We had a touchdown from Williams to Williams. Then we had a touchdown from Williams to Gillison. And on the FDU side, we did have a touchdown before. I'm yes. sorry. Yep. They tried to even it up. They scored a touchdown green on the quarterback keeper, made it 7-6. Yep. Their PAT got blocked, yes. so it stayed 7-6. Then there was the touchdown from Gillison, Gillison yep. making 14-6. So we are going to go to halftime. We will have a halftime show in a little bit, and we will be back. You are watching Cougar Football on MCN 87, the YouTube channel.
and we are back here at Mangelsdorf Field. We have about five minutes until the second half is underway. Billy Pete, play-by-play, -play, joined by Kevin Brown, doing the color commentary. Today, we have an interesting game today, 14-6, Misericordia Cougars. Recap of the first half, the Cougars scored first. They struck first. It was a Williams-to-Williams -Williams connection yep. on a great play. It was a fake. It was a rollout, and then he found Isaiah Williams all across the end zone on the left side to make it 6 nothing. Dinesani hit the PAT, make it 7. Then after you struck right back with Jaeger Green. I've had a few difficulties with that name today. <laughs> Jaeger Green was on the quarterback keeper. He got it and went right up the middle for about four to five yards, and he made it 7-6. A blocked PAT kept at 7-6, and then the Cougars were able to strike again with a nice pass and great catch to Sam 7-11 Gilson, and that made it 14-6. The end of halftime, FDU tried to push down the field a little bit. They got to about the 50, 45 yard line, could not make anything happen from there. And that's where we're at, 14 6. Kev, what does FDU need to do to get back? Well, I shouldn't say back on top, but I should say on top in this game. Yeah. Um, FDU, Billy, like as I've, I've been saying it all, all day, they, they do have offensive firepower. Right now, Misericordia's defense has been sticking them. They've been doing a great job. I think. Um, uh, Green has been doing a great job at finding his receivers, uh, but he has to make it more of a point to hit uh, Mike Panaz uh, Panzerino. Uh, right now, Mike Panzerino uh, is leading the MAC with 12 touchdowns. Um, he has 791 yards on the year. Um, he's averaging 12.6 uh, yards per um, yards per catch. He's a great receiver, and they have to make sure to be utilizing him. But that being said, their run game has been really good today too. It's just Misericordia's defense has been stifling. And um, I really think um, another thing they have to do is on defense. Their defense has been very well too today, too. But they got to make sure to step up and stop the big plays. Uh, Brady Williams has been had a gr great touchdown pass to Sam Gillison uh, in the back. And, you know, in the back corner. And they just got to make sure to capitalize on Misericordia's mistakes, even though they've been very few and far between today. Um, Billy, I really think these first two drives are going to determine who wins this football game today. You're definitely right about that, Kev. So it is 14-6. Like I said, we have about now two minutes until halftime is underway. We've had a very close game, very low-scoring game, not what I expected whatsoever score-wise. It is only 14-6, and... Yeah, we were expecting it. We were today. really expecting it to be at this point probably 27-24 yeah. even. The Cougars have put a lot of points not only in the whole entire game, but they point put a lot of points on the board, tongue twister for you there, in the <laughs> first half. I mean, they have notoriously come out. That's what I think has been the difference factor this year. They come out hot and they don't, you know, they don't no. put their uh, they don't pick their foot up, I should say, yeah, off the off gas. Yeah. And that that's something that Misericordia had like is different this year. You see it. You see. I think it's the veteran presence of everyone. Everyone's a little bit older. You know, they had when they first started this program. They had you know that group of guys: uh, Jeffrey Puckett, T. Rowe, the uh, Tyler Rowe, the rest of the guys, and they left. And that left a bunch of young kids um, with not a lot of experience. Uh, the coaches didn't have a lot of experience. Not a lot of winning experience. As the years have gone on, though, those kids have gotten older. You know, they're all seniors now. They're 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 fifth years. They're six years. Some of them, you know, and and this is the this is the point that they want to make. They know that they can't let up in the second half anymore. You're it's right. not like that. They, they, they exactly. can't do it. I think Otherwise, it's going to be just another one of those seasons. Like and I they said, they want to prove it to not only themselves to the league, but to themselves and, and the kids that are being recruited and and the young and the freshmen and the sophomores. So they know. There's a difference in the air around here, and like, that's something that's new. Like I said, I got a little tongue twisted before. They can't pick their foot up off the gas. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> There yeah. we go. Yep. But um, that I think that has been the difference maker. They start out strong, and they try to finish with the same exact physique, I should say, yeah. in the same exact playing style. And let's hope they do that today. They need to close out this game. If they do close out this game and come on top of this game, they are now 5-0 and in the MAC. Yeah. We will try and find it's some big. scores for you around the league in a little bit. 
we yeah, nothing's had, been up. Yeah, we had the Stevenson, Stevenson score. They were down, or they were up, excuse they're me, up, yeah. 20 to 7 the Wilkes. I think they're still up, but I haven't seen anything new, unfortunately. We will try to find those scores for you real quick. I'll tell you right now. Hopefully Kevin could work that out for me. Not make myself look like a total idiot. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> So, like I said, 14 to 6, we're going in the second half here. We've had a few technical difficulties with our scoreboard. Stevenson is up say. on Wilkes, 33 to 14 in the fourth quarter with 8.17 left to play. But that's the only score I can get from around the league right now, so. Very interesting. Very interesting Very to interesting. see that, Kev. I mean, obviously you have a few teams on a bye week this week, I'm sure of, but <laughs> it's only have one game up right yeah. now. I mean, yeah. But we have the kickoff underway here. The, re the receiving, or no receiving, that will be a penalty and the ball will go out of bounds. The receivers back deep were number four, Clayton Kelly, and number two, Isaiah Williams. And the Cougars obviously receiving the kick there in the second half. FDU started with the ball in the first half. Cougars now take possession. We're going to try and see what's going on with Zach Smith. Yep. Zach Smith exited the game late in the first half. Yep. I don't see him on the sidelines right now, Billy. Unfortunately, I hope everything's okay there. Big piece of the Cougars' defense right now. Um. Yeah, he definitely was a big piece for the Cougars' defense. So let's hope that he is all right. Now the Cougars have the ball, and they are starting at the 35-yard line here. FDU has three down linemen. Brady Williams in shotgun, had L Vleck on the left. Now audibles Vleck to the right. Vleck is going to take the handoff inside zone up the middle. He is going to get nothing. Makes it second and 10 here to start the second half. Yeah, I don't know about the audible switching him to the other side. It looked like that other hole on the other side would have been open, but maybe Brady saw something that he didn't. In a one there from Vleck. Vleck starting this half, which is interesting. Um, usually Cromwell the starter, but Vleck is having a great day today. Um, so it's good to see him back out there. Double wing here from the Cougars. Receivers on the outside. They're going to so pass Williams the ball. Williams trying to looking deep. He has Gillison open there. The ball is underthrown and it is intercepted. For the up. FTU Devils, that's number 14. We've been calling his name all day, even though I forgot his name right now. <laughs> number 14, DeAndre Carter. DeAndre Carter. Western corner having a day today on Sam Gillis. And a little underthrown. Sam did have him beat, but great retreat to the ball by Carter. That's it. You know, you go big sometimes, and sometimes, you know, come up empty-handed. So... A great play there by number 14, DeAndre Carter. Not to be confused with NFL wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> A little difference yeah. there. Yep. Now, Jaeger Green is in shotgun here. He has the running back to his right. And the running back will look left. He will cut back right and get a gain of about one or two. Trying to find a name for you there in one sec. It looked like that was number 25, Al Zanier Blackman. Yep, Al Nazir Blackman. So that will bring up about a second and eight or so. Tackle by a bunch of Cougars. That looked like Kenny Grady was Kenny in. Was Mike Beck was also in Johnny on the tackle as well. There, Pearson. Yeah. Good group effort. Two of the three being my roommates there. <laughs> a lot of cut blocks here again. Jaeger looking to throw. Conway almost tipped out the line. He was unable to. And the pass out to the left to Al Nazir Blackman again. And that's another first down. And the FDU offense right now looking a little better. They're going hurry up. Ross is trying to stop this on the sidelines here. The handoff to Blackman again, and he will get stuffed and Kenny mangled Grady. by Kenny Grady there. My goodness. Whew. It's like hitting a he brick wall. He almost snapped in half. <laughs> his, <laughs> again, I wish I had a replay because his top half was going another way from his bottom. That's pretty scary. Kenny Grady trying Great to make stick. him the gingerbread man from Shrek there. <laughs> Great stick from Kenny Grady. So second and nine here. It looks like it's going to be a free, free play. play. So he's just going to chuck it deep green. 
And oh Ooh. my goodness, what a catch, but he rolled him out of bounds. Oh my goodness, though, that looked like he even got two feet. He got down. two feet in, yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, again, from our angle, we only see the back. Maybe his toes were on the line. Oh my goodness, what a catch, catch. though, by Panzerino there. And a great job by Green recognizing he did have the free play. Yeah. So he went deep. And it's going to be offsides on number 55, Kenny Grady, but I think Joe Grass on number 10 was also offsides, offsides as yeah. well. So a few Cougars trying to jump early there. As Coach Ross would say, hold your water. Yep. So they did not <laughs> manage to do so there. Yeah. So that will bring up a second and five. Makes it a little more manageable from the second and ten they had. 12.54 here in the third quarter. If you're just joining us, MU started with the ball in the second half, and there was a great pick by DeAndre Carter. Screen. We now have a screen pass from Green out to Panzerino on the left side. Uh, just a little short screen Very pass effective. there. Very, Very effective. effective. Those passes have been effective yeah. all day for him. And that gets Panzerino the first down. The yardage he needs to get the first down. They're going to line up. Two to the outside with a wing on the right. A little one on one action far side. So it looks like Green looking to throw here and it will get tipped at the line so green's pass is going to be incomplete there so it's going to bring up a second and ten here for the i was about to say cougars nope but Devils. Devils. Yep. I would like it to be a second and ten for the Cougars. <laughs> and they'd have the ball back, but second and ten here at the Cougars' 46-yard line. Green in shotgun. He has two receivers to the right, two to the left. The running back. I think that's Ionon in the backfield. He is looking to throw. He has a solid pocket. He's looking for Panzerino. He finds him on the right side, and that will be a gain of about. Can we actually see the spot for us? There we go. It's about a third and six. Third, third and six. Excuse me. 12.09 to go. 14 to six. Cougars up on the FDU so form. Devils. It looked like Pantorino there. It was complete across the middle on a nice easy drag route there. FDU's been running a bunch of those today. It is now third and six. One of the more crucial third downs of the game here. Cougars trying to get the momentum back. Third and six here. Green takes the snap he's looking to throw got a good pocket he has panzerino open panzerino tries to spin and get more yardage he almost costs himself the first down by doing so but he stayed above the marker and he gets the first down great uh, uh, offensive line work there from the devils really gave him a firm pocket they gave him a lot of time to work so it's going to be a first down and 10 for the devils here not to be confused with the New Jersey, Jersey Devils. Devils yep. Both in Jersey, though. <laughs> Both in Jersey. <laughs> not, I think the Devils are in Newark. Yes. So yeah, I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah. A little, yep. little further. A little right, farther. Yeah. So Green looking Another at the screen. throw. He has a screen pass to the left. Pizzerino has a lot of room. Makes one, two, Woo! and three people miss. And he will run into the end zone unscathed for the touchdown. One of the top receivers in the MAC, and you know why. That play right there. Great play by Pizzerino. Pantorino is one of the better receivers in the whole entire conference there. So a good job for Green to find Panzerino. They have some great play calling today, FDU. Yeah. They've had a lot of these little screens that sort of worked out to their advantage. So now FDU on for the PAT. A little trickery there, but I think it's just for show. PAT here, one was blocked before, almost blocked again. This one will be good. So it makes it 14-13. So the Cougars still do have a one-point lead. Obviously, you do not want to give up a touchdown, but they still do have a one-point lead. So Cougars are going to have to answer back, Kev. So coming back into this drive now, like I said, I think the first two drives are the most important of the second half, especially in a close game like this. Cougars didn't look terrible. Brady Williams underthrew that pass, but he had a lot of time, had a lot of time just underthrew it. I think the wind came in a little bit. You know, you have a lot of offensive firepower. I think you gotta come back just like the way they did. Don't get 
tentative just because you threw that interception. That's Brady Williams' second interception of the year. Of the year, Billy. So, you know, I think you definitely keep foot on the pedal. You gotta make sure you gotta keep going up. If you're FDU, you get another stop like that, keep the defense going, and you're rolling that offense right now. They push that ball right down the Cougars' throats, and that's the way you gotta, gotta work. Great job by Green and Panzerino, really the catalyst of that o of that offensive drive. Great job. What do you have? Three, four receptions? Yeah, on, on that, that, on that drive, drive alone. Yeah. So, you know, definitely his favorite target, but great look there from Green. Great play calling from the FDU side. You know, now, now. It is great. And they're trying, they're trying to find weaknesses in Misericordia's defense, yeah. and they're doing a good job of exploiting job. those weaknesses, Kev. Yep. You got to react now. You react it's all about team. how you react. It's it, when you get hit and you get knocked down. How do you yep. do you come back come up, back. Yeah. or do you stay there? And the Cougars this year have notoriously gotten back up from those blows. So yep. hopefully they do the same here. They still do have a one-point lead. It seems like the crowd is a little deflated. A little that deflated, score. yeah. It definitely was a big return here, uh, like last time. Isaiah Williams got to the 50 uh, for their for their drive to end the first half. Great kick. Oh, bobbled. Not a great start. Oh. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at that. A late hit at the end. FDU just came over and pummeled Isaiah Williams. Extremely late, extremely late after the play, and there's no flags there. Wow, I think the refs just missed the blatant personal foul. They missed a blatant personal foul, and why? There's no coaches yelling at the refs about that. Well, Ro Ross is with his defense right now, trying to recruit on the sideline. I don't know if he saw I don't, what I happened. I think Ross saw it. Well, I don't know. You got to be in the refs' ears about that hit. That, that's something that they're trying to, you know, knock off. Like especially NCAA. Like they, I the said, kick Kev, are the there worst. has yeah. sort of been a little mini rivalry with yeah. these two teams. I mean, they do not like each other. Vleck up the middle here. He will get none. It's getting a little chippy down there. Very you see chippy down in there. piles like that, you have a little taunting. Yeah, a lot of clapping. Like that. You have a little bumping. and Face mask hits, right, yeah. You, it's getting a little chippy down there. By Jose it's right now where I sort of miss that game day feeling, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking endless amounts of junk on the, uh, <laughs> on the sideline. <laughs> So Williams will try and hard count there. He will not draw anyone off sides. He's looking towards the sideline to get to play, the new play, or should I just say play in general. Roll out. And he's rolling out to the right here. Great block by Vleck. Ooh. He has a wide open Isaiah Williams with a diving catch. And yes, he will catch that pass. And there will be some chippiness between him and DeAndre Carter yep. now as they're tripping at each other. Great catch from Isaiah Williams. If he that was feet. a little oh, yeah. better. I, I'm not taking any way to thin nope, away from that. Nope, nope, that was if, a great pass. If the butt has a little bit on him, a little more. A little more. I think that's, that's a that's that's six. That's, 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 that's an 80-yard touchdown. I mean, there's no one in front of him. 90-yard touchdown, actually. So, my goodness, nonetheless, what a great play from the Cougars. Great strike, great, great response. And handoff to Vleck up the middle. He will get none. Oof, that was rough. Not a lot of holes there. He kind of waited, trying to take his time. And, Realized that there was nothing going to open up, so he just dove forward head, f head first. <laughs> Kev, I'm telling you, this Very these teams chippy. do not like each other. I, I cannot emphasize that enough. I mean, Mr. Cordia, a bunch of their program wins before this year has been off FDU. Yeah. For the mo I mean, the majority yeah. of their program wins was against FDU. So I do not think Ooh. they're happy about that, but it looks like Vleck, or not Vleck, no, excuse me, Williams much. on the QB keeper will get about three yards. Big hit there from FDU. I can really tell among the, the, the muddle. Who, well, that's who the thing. Him. Right now you're that getting so many hit. piles at the end of the play. Yeah. You have no idea who made it. Nah. You made the stick. Big excuse hit, me. though. I saw Brady kind of fall down like a rag doll. <laughs> they're going to run duos. Two to the right, two to the left here. Vleck on the left. So Vleck on the left in shotgun here. Williams in shotgun. He will fake the pass oh. and go for the quarterback keeper, and he will get wrapped up for a loss of two yards, and FDU is fired, fired up. up. Fired up. Good synergy right there, Kev. Yeah. But yes, they are fired up right there. We finished each other's. 
Sandwiches. Sentences. <laughs> <laughs> we have a real. And it looks like Ross is not happy on the sideline there. So this will bring up a fourth down. Looks like FDU's trying to bring the house. Yeah. On this punt return, I should say, for them. Punt for the Cougars. They're bringing in no chance of a block there. That is a very good punt by Chris Lynn. It will be fielded at the eight yard line. He makes Add one up. man miss. He makes another. He's got room up the middle. There's one man to beat, and he's, he's going to bring it to the house. He will go all the way. Yes, a touchdown there for the FDU Florham Devils. My goodness, what a punt return indeed it was. And that was number 22, Josh Rainey. Rainey and Nate, we've called a lot today, and he puts the Devils in Great the lead return. for the first time today. Great return from Rainey there. Mark Ross can't be happy about that one. Oh, Zach Smith has just returned to the sidelines with no pads on, out of uniform, in shorts. Um, not great for the Cougars. So we're, we're going to say that Smith is now officially out. out Smith yeah. is now done for the day. Yep. So a little loss there to Cougars on defense. FDU does make the PAT, and that makes it a 20-14 game. We're going to have a few seconds. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be here. You're watching MCN 87 YouTube channel. Another big kickoff. So another big play for the Cougars there. First down at the 16 yard line. So now is first and 10. It's now first and 10 here for the Misericordia Cougars. 7.36 left in the second, or excuse me, in the third quarter, in the second half. So there's 7.34 now in ticking. Rushed by Brady Williams. If I can't hear you. Second and three. So now there is a... Cougars will line up three there's to the a left. Second and four here for the Cougars. There's going to be trips left. Brady is in the shotgun. He is looking to throw. He has a screen, a bubble screen outside to the left. Sam Gilson makes two people miss and then gets wrapped up, but he will have enough for the first down. Number 11, Sam Gilson. Cougar. So it will be a first down for the Misericordia Cougars. First and ten here for the MU Cougars. Brady Williams now in shotgun. Williams now motioning to the right side. 
two running backs in the shotgun formation next to him. Williams going out to right on a bootleg. Ooh. He finds the number freshman 16. Sharp. The freshman Sharp, the tight end. And that will be a loss of about two to three yards here. I think that's Sharp's first reception. Um, you know, good catch. Had a lot of, you know, had the guy right on him. I don't know about the pass selection, but I mean, good on him to, to retain it. So good job by Sharp there. Now make it second and 12 or so. Second and 12. I guess in that instance, sometimes it's better to just drop the ball. You know what I mean, Kevin? Yeah. I know it's tough True. for a receiver True, yeah. like that. The only thing is if it's behind the line sometimes, right you, know, you got to make sure it's not yeah, fumble. Exactly. So Williams looking to throw here. He rolls out to the right under pressure. Gillison tried to posterize. DeAndre Carter on that catch. Another great coverage and there from Dwayne Carter, though. Could not bring it down. The FDU sideline now chirping. Yeah. Gillison, and they are fired up. Brings up a vital third down and 12. Great D there from Dwayne Carter. Did really doing a good job today on Sam Gillison. Sam Gillison, though, always a threat. So you can't even take one play off because that one play is going to be a touchdown. They're going to line up press on the outside on Isaiah Salmon and on Sam Gilson. Looks like they're maybe faking. Oh. So Williams, he drops the snap on the little snap. They're looking for something. He's running out to the right. He made one man miss. He does get wrapped up at the tail end of the play. And they will be short. <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> the crowd. Is not a a for go for it, but. Their excitement and wanting to go for it, but in a fourth and two game, you're still on your own side. You're still, of the yeah, and you're down by you're down by six. It's just not the right. This is the right call to punt it away, especially when you have Chris Lynn, a very good punter, an experienced punter. You know, you gotta you gotta go. You gotta make sure to punt it here. Let the defense go to work. I mean, they haven't been great the last two drives, but I mean, they are they have been good all day. Oh, I don't know. You are definitely right about that, Kev. So now the punt is going to roll and roll, and it's going to roll down to the 32-yard line. And my goodness, this quarter's flying by. There's only 4.44 yeah. left here, folks. It is a 20-14 to 14 game. For those of you just tuning in, it was 14-6. Cougars had the lead at half. FDU fielded a punt. Josh Rainey at the 9-yard line returned it 91 yards to the house. Made three people miss on his way there. And he made it 20 to 14. FDU did miss a PAT today. That's the reason why they do have 20 points. So now it is 20 to 14. FDU, Green, looking to throw across the middle. He's trying to throw in the triple coverage and it is almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness, oh, what, a, what a dangerous throw. He Very had to dangerous. throw to running back Rainey, 30 Rainey. yards downfield Whew. across the middle. Three men on him. It almost went through, though. Yeah, almost went through. You know, you're off to you right now. You're 2-2 two and two in the conference. You're playing Misericordia right now, who's on a roll. Do you have a lot to lose? Not necessarily. You know, you got to keep it rolling. Keep your foot on the pedal. It's not a bad toss. Now, on the flip side, you are only up six on a team that's first in the conference. I don't know. Interesting. So now it brings up a second and 10 green in shotgun. They will run that misdirection out of shotgun. They've been running all day. And they get about one yard there. That is a rush. Blackman was there. for Blackman was the ball carrier. Zachary Orzel with the stop there. One of our first times calling his name today. Brings up a third down and nine. Cougars trying to get off the field, trying to get the ball back, and hopefully score, retain that lead that they had before. There's still plenty of time in this game for something to happen. It's now a third and nine. Yeah. Green really Bravo. taking his time here. Yeah. There's now eight seconds on the play clock and counting down. 3.52 left in this third quarter here. Green signaling out, and he will throw. He has a solid pocket to throw through, Ooh. and it gets knocked down by Johnny Pearson. Ooh. Almost intercepted if one he got hand. Two, if he got two hands up, I don't know. That might be a pick. Great play there by Johnny Pierce on the way to go up and get that ball. I think uh, I think Green underestimated his athleticism a little bit, to yeah, be honest. <laughs> I, I really think so, Green. I think he tried to make a little too much happen yeah. there on that throw. He underestimated the athleticism of Pearson, who is a very athletic player. So, Good punt. A great punt there. Josh Dieter has to catch it. 
sort of going backwards. A oh, great play man. by Dieter. Oh, I think they're going to call a block in the back. Oh, and but he's down. There 34. is a man down. That is number 34 for FDU. There Matthew are Dougherty. Matthew uh, Dougherty. It looks like he got blocked in the there back, maybe. There are two flags on the play right now, and he is in a lot of pain, folks. A lot of pain. Oof, that's rough to see. That's detrimental for, for the Cougars, who had an okay return on, you know, Josh Dieter made something out of nothing a little bit, got about uh, 10, 15 yards from where he was. Um, and I think there's a block in the back against the Cougars yet. The refs don't have a mic, so it's, it's hard to really tell, but block in the back, don't know on who, but it is gonna be against the Cougars. So there is, 331 left here in this third quarter. We had a 1 o'clock kickoff today. It's around 245 right now, so we're right on pace there wise, I would say. So like I said, 330-ish left in this third quarter here. FDU on top 20 to 14. They're getting the ball back. Or they did get the ball back. And, they gave it back and to then the they could not make anything happen. And Green tried to make a little too much happen on that drive, I yeah. would say. He tried yeah. to force the ball into a, a few tough spots there. <laughs> he tried to throw it to the triple-teamed Randy yeah. at one point yep. in time. But still, nonetheless, great performance by Green Tay on their side. Great performance by Panzerino. They then yep. did have to punt. Dieter got the ball. And there was a block in the back. So now the Cougars' difficult starting position, first and 10 from their own eight-yard line. Great job from the cheerleaders there to try to pump up the uh, the the, the, the crowd. Ooh, flag coming around the O line. Passing complete. Flag on the play. Well, like I said, Cougar, uh, the Cougars cheerleaders uh, sporting the pink um, in aware, uh, breast cancer awareness. Um, great job from them. As the crowd does go a little dead, has been a little dead. So you gotta, you gotta pump them up some way, right? You, you are definitely right about that, Kev. It is 20 to 14. Like I said, 326 left in the third quarter. We have had some sound issues at the beginning of the game. <laughs> we then had a few clock issues. And uh, we're trying our best here to improve everything for you on yep. that front. Yep. Very windy up here. Yeah, very windy. <laughs> very windy. So it will be second and 10 here. I'm still looking for the play clock to start ticking. It has not yet. Now it finally goes. Brady Williams in the shotgun. He has Williams out to the left. Gillison out to the right. He's going to hand it off up the middle. And that will be a rush from Clayton Bleck. Third. Third and ten. And no gain. So it looks like it's going to be third and nine now. And it looks like MU is looking to the sideline for the play. Brady Williams is going to be in the shotgun. Vleck is still your tailback in the game. Interesting, they now have Sam Gillison in the slot, mm. a position you not often see him play. Clayton Kelly lined up on the outside. Yeah, Dwayne Carter on Isaiah him. Solomon on the right side. Isaiah Williams in the slot on the right side. Low snap, Williams has no problem though. He's looking out to roll oh. to the right and he has nowhere to go and he is brought down and that is a sack for FDU and they could not ask for a better time to get a sack. Oh man, at the two, pinning Chris Lynn, who as, as a punter likes to take his time on his kicks. Yeah. You know, this, yeah. Isn't, this is an interesting scenario here. You gotta need a lot of blockers for, um, for Lynn to make sure he's right at the end of that end zone, trying to give himself as much room as he can. Whew. This will be a test to how far he's come as a punter. Truly is. It's off. Yeah, it's definitely. Punt blocked! And it is blocked in the end zone, and that is where That's going to be a touchdown. For FDU, the easy touchdown there. It was blocked by, I'm looking for the number. And Kevin, guess who blocked the punt? Touchdown. Was it Dwayne Carter? DeAndre Carter. DeAndre Carter. Again, he, he had an interception today on Kid is a having great a day. Play. Have a day, DeAndre he Carter. Let me all, tell you. He's been flying all over the field. 
He now then just blocked the punt. It was recovered by number 42. Anthony Sangillo. So it was recovered by Anthony Sangillo for the touchdown. And there was up two scores. There was no one in sight there. For, for them to recover that. Like I said, first two drives. That ball. Yep. You're right about that, Kev. And we talked about at halftime, you cannot let up. Nope, it was 14 let up. to 6. Can't let up. FDU has now had 21 unanswered points. They take a commanding two touchdown lead. Yeah. But it's not over. There's still two minutes left. And with this offense you have for the Cougars, you can score in a minute 52. And then you have the whole fourth quarter. You have to make sure to that you keep everyone together. Look right now. Look at the defense, Billy. They're not they're not at on the on the things like they were. Everybody's very scattered. You gotta make sure to bring everyone together and make sure that it's still your game to lose. You're you're right about that, Kev. It looks like Ross has not met with his defense. Of course, there are defensive players that are on kickoff, but it, even, even on the other side, even on the everything. offensive yeah. side, it just everything looks a little Real out of, dead, out of sorts right now. A little out of sorts. We're on FDU sideline. I mean, you see Unity over there right now, and they look pretty fired up. So, I. Interesting start here to the second half. I could yeah. not predict this. No. Ke Kevin and I said if we were doing over-unders, we said the over-under would be around 57. We are now at 44 points combined. So I'm telling yeah. you, it creeps up there. Yeah. It's creeping up there. So we'll see if we'll hit that today. But Another booming kick. Low. And Williams. Did could, he touch it? Could not catch it. I was a little confused there because the ball rolled in the end zone. He sort of just I stood there looking maybe at the ref. He touched it. But if oh. he did touch it and then went back into the end zone and then fielded and took a safety? knee, that would technically be a safety. But I think they're saying that he didn't touch it. Yeah, I think they're saying that. But he didn't at touch the same it. time, but if he didn't touch it, it rolls in the end Why zone. Shouldn't that be an automatic it? touchback? Yeah, I don't know. There is a flag. Do you see the flag? I There's a flag right where that ref is standing. I don't know what that's about. Maybe a sideline warning? I have no idea what's going on right now, Kev. I don't know what's going on. They're placing the ball at the... I think it's a sideline. At yep, the 25-yard yep, line. Come on, you. On Ms. Accordia, it's or no, FDU? no, on FDU. Look at the coach. He's telling everyone, line up behind the blue, the white line. Look, that's what he's saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, fired. Is, he's fired. He's fired It up. is on FDU. I don't blame him because you get one warning and then your second one's a five yard yeah. penalty. Yeah. And and we saw this season was the first time we've seen it actually like enforced. Yeah, exactly. So I, I definitely I guess it's something they're harping upon this year. Agree I with that. So oh! Williams. Williams finds Williams across the middle for what looked like a catch. And then Williams got hit he across never, the middle. I don't think he ever got his feet the on the ball ground. The went straight up, yeah. hit the ground once. FDU was ready to run that back yeah. to six on the scoop and score. But it was incomplete. The ref signaled yep. The, yep. the juggle. You know what? Not he he, he had caught the ball, but his feet hadn't touched the ground yet. And I think he got hit from behind and let it fly. Exactly. You're that's right a rough, that's that a rough drop, though. That's a, that's a rough drop. You got you got one-on-one -on -one coverage on Sam Gilson there. And that's not Dwayne Carter. So we have a big run here for Dallas. Dallas still trying to find room around that left side. He does. Great block from Sam Gilson there. To so secure a that outside. great rush by Jamal Dallas. He got to the outside of the left. He got the edge, and he got a first down. And that is a very key first down just to get some life out of the Cougars yes. right now. 100%, Billy. So it is now first and 10. Now Carter's back on Gillison. It's now first and 10. Ball is at FDU's 48, cross midfield now. And it is to Dallas again. Dallas trying to find room. Looked like the almost same exact play. Yeah. And he tried to find room on that left-hand side. He found about six, maybe seven yards there. Be generous and say seven yards. So I'll bring up a second down. It was seven yards, second down and three. 50 seconds left of this third quarter. Sure in the wing. 
three to left. So it looks like Williams is going to fake the quarterback draw. He's now in the pocket looking to make something happen. He's still rolling the out. Flag is and out. And he is going to run out for the first down. Flag is out in the backfield. Maybe a holding. And it looks like it probably is going to be holding on the Cougars. We have had... Oh, Brady's signaling this way, though. I don't think the referees are mic'd up as they usually no, are. No, they aren't. We, we <laughs> have that not makes our job a lot <laughs> it's harder. It's making our job a lot more <laughs> difficult. So Let's see. Let's see. What are they calling? I, I still do not have a <laughs> signal yet. It is going to be holding on the Cougars. I just did see that oh, call. And then a face. But then oh, a targeting call? So Penalty's then there offset. is a call on he FDU. Knocked his, he knocked his head. The ref knocked his head. And I don't see anyone heading towards the locker room. So maybe not targeting. Face mask? But no, because face mask, he would go down, yeah, go down. Yeah. down yeah. like that. He, he hit his head. Like the side of his head. Yeah, he, it looked yeah, like the signal yeah. was on the side. I don't know there. what that means. So Kevin and I are literally trying We're to decode befuddled. this language up we here. We are befuddled. But nonetheless, the penalty is offset and is now second and, uh, second and three on the 41-yard line. Cougars will hand it off. Dallas will fight for some yards. I think he got the first. Bodies flying everywhere. Right, Billy, like you said, the chippiness. Chippiness is getting a little, a little much. Oh, it's going to be third and third just four. short. And now the <laughs> now the fans are getting a little chippy fans as well. Fans are also getting chippy. Put your fours up, boys, as we head to the fourth quarter. It is quarter. now the clock has now ticked down. It's going to bring up a third and one. The Cougars are going to have a third and one at FDU's 39-yard line. 27-14 here, FDU. It was all FDU in that third quarter, outscoring MU by a score 21-0. We're going to take a quick break. Stay right here, MCN 87. So we are back here at Mangelsdorf Field. It is now 15 minutes shown on the clock. Full quarter left here, third and one here. Williams bounces to the outside. He will have enough for the first, and that will move the chains, right, and that is crucial. MU still That's down two scores. So they're trying to just keep this game close and claw their way back into this game as well. So it's now 27-14, 14-52 left in this fourth quarter. That was the first play of that quarter, and we now have a stoppage of play. Somebody's down. Because there is someone, it looks like there's an injured Cougar on the field. Looks like a lineman. It does look like a lineman. Lenny Watson, the speaking captain, is now talking to the referees. Obviously, there's an issue. We are still down. trying to find the injured player here. Oh, it's Jonathan Yanko. That's number 87, the tight end John Yanko was down the field. So Senior he tight will end. be escorted off by the training staff. He's walking on his own power. Yanko, um, yeah, again, senior tight end. elbow gruesome, injury about a year and a half elbow ago, injury, years and, ago. Then, and then he t uh, tore his MCL. Um, Partially tore. I forget exactly what it was, but he's got his helmet off. He's heading towards the bench. I don't know what, oh, he he's just trying to make sure he's okay. Maybe tweak something. Ooh, coming in hot there. Oh, wide open! It oh, is no. a wide. Oh my goodness! 
Oh, Sorry man. about the delay there, folks. Williams was rolling out to the right. He uh, didn't have a pocket to throw. There was a little pressure that was going on coming there. Jamal Dallas was left wide open in a broken coverage to the left side. Uh, there was no one there. A little underthrown. An easy a touchdown. shoestring catch. That, that's hard. That's hard on, on Dallas. I'm not going to. Gonna blame it him for that catch. It was a very low pass, uh, a shoestring catch. He did not, he had it at first, bobbled it up, then could not bring it uh, down. So that is an incomplete pass. It would have been a touchdown and just missed it there. Hand off to Dallas here. He does get stuffed. And that will be a gain of zero. And keep it right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, man. We now have another Cougar slow to get up. He still is up, though. That was number 61, Mike DeKunzak. He's now coming out of the game. And they're bringing in senior guard number 65, Tyler Stefan. Ooh. Ooh. That's a rough drop from Dallas. I'm still replaying in my head. Third and 10 now from 35. That's rough. So now it is third and 10 here for the Cougars. Williams looking to throw. He's going to run that quarterback draw that MU always does. And it is extremely unsuccessful this time. And that is a gain of one yard. So now it's a fourth and nine spot. You're down two touchdowns. If you're the Cougars, you got to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I, you've had a lot of problems on a special teams. A lot of teams. problems on special you've teams. You've given up two touchdowns today on special teams. And both of them have been because of punt. Yeah. Punt has been a thing the Cougars have struggled, struggled with, with all yeah. year. Yep. So I do not blame the Cougars for going for it here. It is a fourth and now the biggest play of the game. Williams has a pocket to throw from. He's rolling out to the right. He's trying to find Dieter. Oh, he's got Dieter! Dieter. The catch. He mosses number 16 on FTU. And that is a Billy. completion from Williams to Dieter on a desperate Desperado. Roll out to the right completion. Agent X. Joshua Dieter is six foot four. You put on a five nine corner on him, they should be capitalizing on that all the time. It stinks that he's not as quick as Isaiah Williams or Sam Gillison, but he is dependable. And that's and that's it right there. It will be Williams on this one trying to go up the middle. He cannot find anything. So that's gonna bring up a second down and goal. It's literally the ball is literally at the Williams. one foot line, I guess I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's at yeah. the one yard line yep. technically, but it is a little less than a yard, I guess I would say, to get this touchdown. After you looking for a stop here. Mr. Cordy trying to punch in just to make it a one touchdown game. Dieter has not, we have not seen him in the game a bunch today. No, no, but I told you, Asian X type of game, uh, a nice guess first touchdown there, but. Oh, and Williams Brady. looking to throw. I think it was a designed run, and he sort of just took that ball. There was no one there. He was going to take about a loss or four or five, and he sort of just chucked it in the end zone. Probably the most dangerous thing you could ever do as a quarterback, yeah. and Williams gets away with it. Yeah, luckily the ball's on the one foot line, like you said, so the receivers that went and tried to block probably weren't past there were, the There were no linemen line. down yeah. the field. So, so Williams here will fake the handoff he's to the outside. He will go up the middle. He is in for the touchdown. That is now 27 to 20. It is a touchdown, K, K Ugers. There. there we go. So touchdown, K Ugers. Me and Kev trying to find that <laughs> synergy <laughs> and sync up here. So it is a now 27-20 game. Dennis sending on for the PAT. Kick is up. And the kick is it up. Is good. And the kick is good. Another point for Denisente who has been very good this year, very reliable. And that's something that the Cougars have needed in the past, a very reliable kicker. And uh, Dinesente really filling that role. So Dinesente there, right down the middle, kick is good, 27-21, FDU here. 12.06 left in this fourth quarter. Mr. Cordia making it. Now the crowd again. is getting electric. The crowd is getting up a little bit. It was 14-6 Cougars. It now then became 27-14 FTU. Now the Cougars looking to straight back, 27-21. They are within six points. And the Cougars now need to get a stop. 
big stop here from the defense. You gotta find the energy you had in that first quarter and bring it right now. And that's that's what they're gonna try and do. Now the kick off Ooh. here. Whoa. A booming kick. Oh, I couldn't. Man. It even went out of the, the back end line. Zone. Right at the back line was pretty much out of the end zone. Booming kick from number 85, Nicholas Nedlinger. 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 We're still struggling Nedlinger. with that. Yeah, we're, we're still <laughs> trying to figure that one out. We'll figure that out one by, uh, <laughs> by the last well, game of the year. For, ba for ba we announced basketball too, and for yeah. basketball we are given name pronunciation yes. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this football here, we do have to figure it out yeah. ourselves. It's, it's a, a lot of. It, it would take a long time for for the guy to run through it with us. Yes, exactly. So it's just much bigger roster. Yes, a yeah. lot more things to worry yep. about. So. Green is in the shotgun here. He is looking to throw. He is pressured. Screen pass out to the right by to Steve Iannone. And that will be a gain or a loss of lost. one, I'll say. I was going to say gain of zero, loss of one. Loss of, loss of two. Loss of two. Loss maybe of, even maybe three. three. <laughs> All right. So a yeah, loss of three. Great play there. A great answer for yeah, the Cougars. Keep it up. Second and 12 here. Now, Can't let it go now. FTU was going all hurry up in the first half yeah. in the third quarter. Yep. They are now going to try and slow down the clock with that lead. There's a stoppage of play again. And they move the ball a little forward. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, so it was you were about there right. There was a loss of one on the play. <laughs> Looks like the uh, line judge and the referees there were trying to mess yep. with me a little bit. <laughs> Let's make our, our job So easier. a lot of cup blocks there again. And Green is looking to throw. He does have a completion for about six yards. Man, that cup so. block is pretty effective, man. Because it, you know what it is? It, 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 puts every, it lets it open up. Effective, but risky. But risky, but risky exactly. Because if you, if you miss, you're done. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get to crazy pressure. Yeah. But it did open it up for him. He was able to see everything. I mean, I could see it. I can only imagine what it was like for him behind them. Press coverage on the outside here on the receivers. This is a big stop here. Pass. Green. Screen. Looking to the right side. He has a complete. To oh, and he's Zoni. breaking away. Zoni has it. One man to beat, and Nick Yeager Way to push him out. out. That screen pass, Billy. It's been effective all day. All day that screen pass has been there. That's killer. Third, third and nine, you give up 30-yard pass. It's hard to on bounce back pass. on a screen, <laughs> on a screen nonetheless. So very, very, very big answer there from FTU. They are going to now take up some clock. So it's now first and 10. Good run. Six yard gain there from Blackman. Seven yard. It looks like it is around a six yard gain there for Blackman. Al Nazir there. Al Nazir Blackman on the rush. Second down and four. And Green looking to throw. Big stick there mm. by number 22, Gary Murray. Murray. Gary yeah. Murray in on the play. Yep, they're going to be short, about a yard. Third and so one. Third and one, and here, Kev, I think you got to send the house. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely think so. The only thing is, if they throw another send screen. Send the house when they have a screen out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who I don't knows know. what's going to happen. offense has been very effective today. There's going to be an interesting play call here from both sides. They tried a hard count. They couldn't get the Cougars to jump. Crowd getting a little energetic here. Everybody trying to get getting a little energetic. Defense Everybody champ. on the edge of their seat. It's going to be a run. It is a run to Al Nazir. Makes one and man he miss and he's got it. First down, he made one man miss, just like Kevin said. He had about seven yards or so, and he got the first down with ease. He's tackled by Mike Conway. Great run there from Blackman. Really knowing where he's at on the field, seeing the defense, and getting as much as he can. Great job. So first and 10 from the 25. 
Green calls a snap. So Green looking to throw Balls here. up. He had a solid pocket. The ball is up and completed. Orzel had good coverage. But Great it has catch. been the name we have been saying all day. Number six, Mike, Mike Panzerino. Panzerino. The As Panzer Zek, the Panzer Shrek Mike tank, Panzerino. His gets Mac into the end zone. leading 14th touchdown of the year. Great job and there. He has had a great year all year, and he continues his success today. <laughs> my, oh, man. My goodness, the crowd, the crowd is, is not getting happy a little chirpy on here on the MU sideline. They're going to go for two here. Oh, my goodness. And they're going to go yeah, for two. Flip. Some trickery. Panzerino. Panzerino looking he's to throwing. throw in the reverse. And oh, he's got room. And he's, he's got, got room. room. He does have a blocker. If they return this, it will be two points. He does he's have gone. room. Damien Diaz Damien is Diaz. all the way. For and that is going to be two points for the Cougars. So instead of trying to make it a 14-point game, the Cougars now make it a 10-point game. And that's going to be a four-point swing. Wow. Just like that. 33-23 there. What a play. play Brings the Damian Cougars Diaz. back in the game. Gives the Cougars some momentum 102 here. 102 yards. 102 yards, two-point converse to <laughs> for the Missouri Cordia To the Cougars. house. I got to say, though, one of the key things for that, that block play was the blocking. Yeah. How the Cougars, they got in front of Diaz there. They saw the lane that yep. he needed, and he got him that lane. Great job by Damian Diaz. An absolute great job indeed. Oof. Man, that was an interesting call there from FDU. Uh, I don't know. Very, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, very interesting. You're up two scores. Now it's only 10. Now it's only a, a touchdown and a field goal. So now 33-23. It is a 10-point game. Think about it, Kev. If they never got that PAT blocked, yeah. FDU. No. But they would never have to go for two. They never would have went for two then. Yeah. No, 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 no. They never would have had to. Not at all, no. So it is, I can't stress enough how important those little things are. Yeah. They don't look big at the time. No. And then it comes to a situation like this, and now it's a 10-point game. Yep. Much bigger difference than 14 points. They were going to need two touchdowns just to tie it up. Yeah. Now they need a touchdown and a field goal to tie this game up. And there is room for Williams. Williams does have room on the Ooh, outside. Flag it out. will be coming back, though, because of a holding call. That's two in a row. Or a block in the back. Oh, that's two in a row. Josh Rainey's name called again. Josh yeah. Rainey's been all over the field. All over the field. Reminds me of uh, alumni teams. from Mr. Cordia running back number 23, Mark Rainey. Mark Rainey, yeah. <laughs> Mark was a great player for your career here. I think it holds. I think they call so it. So it looks like yeah. it is going to be holding on the Cougars. Now so bring it back to the 31, I believe. The 31, yeah. That's a that's tough. Kevin, we did say the over under was going to be 57. We did. We are now at what are we at here? We have 53. We're at 56 points. So there you go. There we go. <laughs> that was a good prediction, yeah. I guess I should say, yep. if I had to make one. So. Yep. Not Good thing we bet the over. Here. Remember, yeah. we, we yeah. said we're before, saying, we were like, yeah. oh, we're terrible we're betters. No, 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 no. No, we are good. <laughs> we had it in we control all day Send long. Send us to Vegas. <laughs> we got it. We're on it. So Brady Williams looking to throw here. There was a rush a little bit from the right side. Ooh. He had Sam Gillison wide open. It's a little wide too open. much on it. A little too much mustard on that one, Kev. You know what? That's rough yeah, because the last time he threw to Gillison downfield, he underthrew it a little bit. Now, Dwayne Carter limping off the field after that play. Interesting to see who they're going to have line up on Gillison now. I hope everybody saw that uh, on the Cougar sideline because this is a big deal now. Because now number 16, Javon Wright, DB. Um, Javon Wright, a junior from Staten Island, again, from Tottenville. Um, a public school on Staten Island where I'm from. Screen pass though, left there to Williams. Williams. Gets a complete to Williams for about a three-yard gain. I think Kevin just likes to say when people are from Staten I do, Island. I do. I do. I like <laughs> repping, you know what I mean? 
Kevin does rep there. Team he's from, though, uh, was in the PSAL Championship three years in a row when I was there. And the PSAL Championship is held in uh, Yankee Stadium. Wow, that's so it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, really cool. So they were in it three times in a row. Well, they'll I have mean, plenty of time to play on that field now with the Yankees out of contention. Yeah. So it, <laughs> it will true. be a third. Uh, you can't tell I'm happy about it or anything. <laughs> but it will be a third down yeah, and seven down there. Sam. Williams looking to throw. He has Dieter open in the slot. He does find him across the left side of the field at the left hash. That will be a first down. Another at the crucial conversion line. there from Williams to Dieter. But like I said, X Factor. But the clock tick, 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 yep. tick. It is around 7.33 and still going down. First down. Like someone in the crowd just said, mm. They are still down two scores, so 7.20 here. Clock's still rolling. Williams under pressure right away. Got it. What a catch, what a catch. from Sam Gillison. His head Gillison. wasn't even turned yet. <laughs> His head was not even turned yet. I think he might have gotten two feet in, too. He may have gotten two feet in. Yeah. That could have been was, an NFL catch. That was a great ball, great catch, perfect timing there from uh, Williams to Gillison. 7.05 left now, down by 10. Cougars have to keep it moving. And that Ooh. will be a pass. Williams trying to find Isaiah across the middle, just a little bit outstretched for him, a little bit outside his comfort zone, yeah. as you would say. A little rough. Williams getting, you know, shaken up across the middle today, too. He's gotten hit, big hits twice on him. Um, maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe not. I could just be talking garbage right now, but you know, it's you something, to think, know about. It's something to think about. <laughs> yeah, press covers on the outside there <laughs> on Gillison. So Williams now looking to throw. He cannot find anything. He's still rolling out to the right, oh, and that ball had, will bounce. He had Sam, he Gillison, had Sam Gillison for about wide 20 open. yards of extra room too. And Williams did take a shot there. Is that third or fourth now? Third. That was third. That. That was fourth, or excuse me, that was second down, bringing it up no. third down now. Ooh. Gillison thought, not in. I thought that you was. You see this? Yeah. No, Gillison walked off the, the sideline side right yeah. away. So Gillison. Interesting to see what the play call is. So be. Dieter now to the right. Williams now in motion. Isaiah Solomon in on the left side. Different formation here for the Cougars. Jamal Dallas, the running back. Williams looking to throw, and he will get. Wrapped oh, up man. by two FDU defenders, and that is going to be a big loss, bringing up a big fourth down. <sighs> They're going to punt. And that is going to bring up a fourth. Yeah, Kev, I, I don't know. There is 625 and ticking down in this fourth quarter left. One of the biggest problems for the Cougars today is special teams. Yeah, huge problem. Let's see if Chris Lynn, if Chris Lynn could get a big punt off here, that would be great for the Cougars. So Lynn was definitely a little quicker there Yeah. on his punt. And oh, this will oh. Oh, just roll into the just end zone. Into that the will end be zone. a touchback. 5.58 left right here. Stay with us till the very end, folks. We are going to take a quick 30-second break. We will be right back. break for you we are back here 558 left in the fourth quarter 33 23 after you just got the ball back they're gonna try and kill some clock and it looks like Al Nazir has he carry he's gonna take it for about two yards to the right side and a lot timeout. of whistles going on here timeout taken for FDU did they signal? We are, like I said, these refs are not mic'd up today. They're making our job a little difficult. And there will be a timeout. And it was a timeout on FTU. Yeah. That is, Kevin, in all the years I've been watching football, 
That is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. You're up two scores. You're up two scores. You're trying to run out the clock, and you <laughs> necessarily just get the Cougar saying, okay, here, here's another timeout. <laughs> Unless it's a flex. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Maybe you have to use trying to say that we are going to put this game away. Cougar, th this is a tough Misericordia Cougar crowd here. Getting a little chippy down there. They let a lot of people know when something's wrong. Yeah. Yep. So it is now a second and five call. FDU Green. Going to run the ball back there. Ooh. Back to Nazir. First down. That was brought to in the pistol formation. <laughs> so that's going to be a, another first down for Blackman. Oh, Al Nazir Blackman. That is a first down to the Devils. Very interesting to see FDU take that timeout. Yeah. It definitely saved the Cougars about a minute or about 40 seconds on clock. 519 and ticking down here, 33-23, first down and 10 for FDU. They are taking all the play clock, now nine seconds and counting down left on the play clock. And Green in the pistol grin. Again, excuse me, Green will give it off to Blackman. Blackman trying to find room. He finds about one yard or so. I was about to say, now would be a good time for the Cougars to call a timeout. Yeah, I think that's what Mark Ross is going to do as he comes onto the field. And they yeah, do they call are. a timeout. 5.02 left in the fourth quarter. We're going to stay right here. Yep. Uh, that's a rough offensive drive for the Cougars there on the last and one. Kevin, if you think recap. about it, if you take away the 14 points FDU has on their special yeah. teams touchdowns, that is... Uh, Cougars up four. Yeah. Yeah, you there know, you go. It'll be 23-19 yeah, right 23 now. And that's, that's where it becomes an issue, you know. And that's, Gr it's, that's what it is comes a great down to. Punter. He has a great boot. But if you're, if you know, you have to realize that your player like likes to take his time on his kicks, and at, you know, and that's the thing. It didn't bite them against Castleton because no. they still won that game with the yeah. East. A game like a game this, like this in conference, look, and, look at it know, now. It's hard. It's it's hard to say. I mean, it is unbelievable how much the game changes just because of special teams. Yeah. Like I said, Kev, 93% of the time. Yeah. So this will bring up a second down and nine or so. Green now in that pistol formation again. One receiver on the right and left. Tight end on the right side. Blackman trying to find room up the middle again. And he will go absolutely nowhere. Another timeout taken by Misericordia. So they're going to have one timeout left. I'm honestly thinking if you get a stop here, I saved that last timeout. Yes. I say I let the clock it. run yeah, you, and I save it. you still have five minutes. You get one more. And you need two scores. What would, what would that be? Like four minutes left for two scores I mean that's big exactly so they gotta they gotta get two scores a field goal or a touchdown yeah they need one of those just when they get the ball back so at this point in the game so say they score a touchdown here that'd make yeah. it a three-point game right so yeah. it'd be 33 to 30 there's going to be, say, let's see, two minutes left on that clock. Yeah. You're going to need those timeouts. You're going to need at least one. So, obviously, they will go for an onside kick, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming, yeah. But, yeah, just – so, I would definitely save this timeout. We're going to see what Ross does after this play. You got to get the stop here first. Yes, definitely. You got to get the stop. It, it's Yeah, it's all irrelevant unless, unless you get a you stop, stop right, right here. here. And, and – So it is now third down and nine. You got four receivers. The crowd to is the left fired right. up. You need to get a stop here. Green now in the shotgun throw. formation. They're gonna throw. They are going to throw. Screen. They're going to throw that screen to this Panzerino. They, they do stop it in the more. Out of oh, out. No, but they're, oh, they're signaling, signaling to keep winding. Wow. So the clock is going to continue to tick, tick, tick. And roll down. I think we're going to, yeah, they took. So they're going to say that his forward progress was stopped inbounds. <laughs> yeah. And then he proceeded to go out of bounds yeah, after and, that. Yeah, and Coach Ross is starting to yell over to them. <laughs> um, yeah, so Coach Ross will take his final timeout. He, he's, he's yelling over at the sidelines there. 
Now, I don't know what's happening here. Did they throw another? Oh, they're throwing a... I don't know what's happening here. The FDU coach fired up at the referee. Fired right up. Now. He is yelling at the head referee. And... That'd be fourth and about five. The head coach for FDU is Brian Serace. He's livid. I, I don't know who he's yelling at necessarily. Oh, maybe they got... Did they get another sideline warning? He is livid again. I don't know what's happening It is there. fourth down, but Kevin... Oh yes, they did take the timeout. They did yeah, take they the did. last timeout, so now none left for the Cougars. Down by two scores. I think they're trying to get a block right here. Yeah. You. Oh, you have to be. You have to be hoping for a block and a, a block score. would be huge. Blo block would be big. High. Oh yeah, my almost. goodness! Almost blocked. Just missed it by inches there. Dieter will pick it up after letting it roll about ten times to be tackled by about eight FDU defenders. Yeah. Dieter a big body, probably doesn't doesn't bother him. Almost blocked. Oh, you you need a block there. You need a block. That's rough. That's rough. 4:33 uh, left here in the fourth. Cougars down 10, 33, 23. Ball on the 27. Where's the 10 of the 27 yard line? Uh, Carter is DeAndre Carter. I keep calling him Dwayne. DeAndre Carter is back out for the FDU. Who he was, he was out for the last two plays of the last drive. He is looks like he's trying to stretch out his calf a little bit. But you gotta be throwing the ball here if you're the Cougars. So Dwayne now there will be a screen to. Clayton Black. Black does have a lot of room, and the more important thing is he out will get 10 plus yards, but he will go out of bounds. So great job there. Great screen pass set up by that offense. Offensive line did a good job. Black does a good job of getting outside. So good job in that screen pass. I mean, just to get you some more room there. Oh my God, there Ball's is out. a fumble. The ball is out. It came from the blind side. Ooh. Derek Hendershot Derek got Hendershot. beat right yeah, away. Right away. And that is a sack for, guess who? DeAndre, DeAndre Carter. Carter. Have yourself a day, Mr. Carter, let me tell you. So now second down and 15. Williams rolling the left. He finds Clayton, Clayton Kelly. Kelly. Clock is short. gonna keep rolling though. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go. Ball at the 50, it's gonna be third and about three. Third and three here. Cougars trying to go hurry up. They're blitzing here. Williams has nowhere to throw, he's dancing back there. And Balls he's up. trying to find Dieter. Oh! And Dieter was wide hands. open and it hits him in the hands. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I wonder what happened. Maybe the sun. I'm sorry, that was Robert run. Planter. Uh, oh, the sack not, not Dwayne Carter, not, oh, okay. Because I have seen Planter, I mean we have seen Planter a lot today, so. Planter and Carter oh, both have a great day That's a here. rough drop. Fourth so and that three. is a rough drop, fourth and three. A in, an incomplete pass will end the game here. Low snap. Low Picked snap. Up. Williams looking. He's rolling out right. He does He's have to Gilson. That is a complete pass. Enough for the first down. He gets out of bounds. The clock will stop. Oh, no. They're signaling to keep going. They will. Nope. Oh. Yeah, they're yeah, signaling yeah, the to keep going. Yeah, the clock is still going. So they got the chains moving. They got to hurry up, though. Yeah, hurry up. Don't have the a lot of time clock here. clock is at 27, 26 now. Williams does get a snap. He has a solid pocket to throw through. He has Gilson uh. one on one. Ooh, interesting. And they're, they're going to say that was I gotta say, ball. I think. know the whole crowd is going for the pass interference. Yeah. There was a little LeBron James action yeah. there also, on Gilson's part. I think that's an uncatchable ball. <laughs> and I think that's what the refs are saying to him right now. Yeah, the ball. The ball is uncatchable. If it's inbounds, if that ball is inbounds, even if it's short, I think you get that There's call. There's a much better I chance. I think that's a better that chance call. you get that call. But it's not a great pass. I know everyone's arguing it, but I, I really think that's the right call there. So now, by, by second the down, ten, a blitz, screen oh, pass to right, and there uh, is nowhere to go. 2.54 left, third and eight. So Vleck had nowhere to go there. He gets about one yard, 2.48 
left on this clock and tick, 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 tick. Gillison's still out. Gillison is not in the game. We have Dieter, Kelly. Great catch. Oh and my Williams Lord. held on to the ball after taking a Great shot. Great catch. And I think he was out of bounds too. Yeah, they're going to say he was out of bounds. Oh, nope. No, they're not. Again, the clock keep is still the clock rolling here. There's 2.30 left. Oh. The Cougars need to get yeah. going here. They're at the 27 yard line. And Williams takes God. another shot another across the middle. Big he hit. hangs on the ball. So that's another first down, but the clock will continue oh, to move. He is, he is rough, but he is not tapped out yet. And this, that's the heart is, of the line. It is not that's game it right yet. yet. Don't tap yet. Game yet. I like seeing that from Isaiah Williams. What's the call? What, what's happening? Oh, FDU took a timeout. I think FDU took a timeout just to slow this attack. Yeah. But very interesting again because it stops yeah, the clock it again. Stops the clock so again. So now it's like giving Misericordia another timeout. So essentially, Misericordia's had five timeouts today. <laughs> yep. We'll keep it here. In this half. We'll keep it here. I'm, yeah, I'm we'll hyped up. Well, we gotta keep. We gotta keep going. Two fourteen left. Down by ten. Huge third and fourth down conversions here from the Cougars, and that's what they've been great at. It is now the ball on the fifteen. You gotta get a score here. You gotta get a score within the next. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 30 seconds you need you need you need it because then you got to get the ball back yeah you definitely do you're right about that Kev you're definitely right about that Kev is now a first down Gillison's back out and on the field. Sam Gillison is back and that's another thing too with that timeout Sam Gillison is back in yeah the game. yeah I don't game think before. no I don't think so I don't think the Cougars mess up that rhythm to get him back in So now Williams, oh, looking to throw, and he will get sacked there on the play. Two minutes left. There is Wilson slow to get back to the line. Got to call. Oh, hey, 11. Oh, yep, they're going to yep, get that. There's a flag on the play. So he does go deep to Gillison. Cannot get it, but that is a free play. That'll be 12 men on, on the field, I think. Illegal substitution on FDU. It's going to be a good spot. Good job there by Kevin trying to catch that. With no mic today, a little difficult to hear what's going difficult. on. So we do have, we did confirm the call there. Illegal substitution. 149 left in this fourth quarter here. We thank you for tuning in today. The next home game will not be for another three weeks. They play two games on the road against Kings and Nurse yep. Floyd, I believe, and then they come back home for Lycoming coming. Or Albright, Albright yeah. yep. Oh, well, that's that's the one that's So the now line. Williams looking to roll out. He has nothing, no one open. And he's just gonna hit Zay Solomon for a short dump off there. But the clock that's stops. Really. The clock does stop because he did get out of, get out of bounds. Yeah. But third down. Third down here, one of the most crucial third downs. Billy, if they don't convert, do you kick the field goal now? Yes. Yeah, right? Yep, because you got to. You got to get something. Yeah, exactly, Kev. Yeah. Like I said before, you got to get a touchdown and a field goal. You got to get either or on this yeah. drive, you know. Fade so route. he's looking for. Oh, and they're going to throw and the there flag. There is a flag on the play there. That is definitely going to be defensive pass interference. That's going to be half the distance to the goal because they're within the 20-yard line. Yep. And then that's going to be an automatic first down. So it'll be an automatic first from, I think, about the 9. If I do, Oh, ball's on the 10, so it'll be from the 5, I think. First, first and yeah, goal from the 5. should be first down from the 5. First and goal from the 5. Keep throwing the ball. Or do you run now? I – Oh, from the – from the 2. Oh, from the 2-yard line. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how that one went, but all right. All right. Well, I think – it was at the 15 originally. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe, I, I'm Maybe, not I sure. <laughs> Whatever, we'll, we'll figure it <laughs> we'll out. We'll figure that out, but nonetheless, first down, Williams looking to throw, still no one open. He's trying oh. to find Kelly, just a little just outstretched. Just a little outstretched. 133 left. Out of left. his reach, just by a little bit there, folks. Ooh, second, 
and goal from the two. Second and goal here from the two. 133 left here. I think they play Kings next week, I believe. Yes. Kings and then Albright and then Lyco. So here we go. Williams looking oh! to Oh, he will get sacked. He did not even see it coming. And that did come from the left side again, it looks like. It's now third down. Kevin, it's getting to a point in the game where the clock is ticking so much that you may you're gonna have to just kick the field goal. Yeah. I mean they they're gonna look for a shot at the end zone right here. Williams rolling out to his right, trying to direct traffic. He's still he's still available. He's still looking to throw. Ooh, touchdown! It is a touchdown, oh, Isaiah man. Williams. He is a magician. <laughs> so is, how does he do that? Is a touchdown. K a Ugers. Ugers. Not as much emphasis because we're, no, still, we're down. still down four. <laughs> but. Like I said, I called a magic man a few weeks ago. I was throwing my program yep, left and right. You are. Now you see me, now, now you, you don't. don't. Good reference there to <laughs> Talladega Knights, the ballad of Ricky Bobby. Big PAT here. Dennis setting on for the PAT right down the middle. Money. <laughs> Excuse me there, Kev. It's All right. To, it's getting to a point now where Dennis Setting comes on, and I expect him. I expect him to hit it. Just hit it right yeah, down. Yeah, he's money, man. And in, in years past, I was a little shaky. Yeah. You know, he so he has done a great job of improving himself. Dino, he's been great. So now the Cougars will, I assume, will attempt to onside it. Um, yeah, they're going to attempt to onside it here. 101 left here in the fourth. Down three uh, to the FDU Devils. Um, that... There's not much to say, you know. It's gotta get the gotta get the kick before you can do anything else. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. Kyle. You know, and if you're it FDU all right comes now, down to this onside kick. You're FDU. You have to keep focus here. You can't. Honestly, like, if you're FDU here, I I would not like if I was on FDU sideline. I would not rule out the idea of taking a timeout here. You have one timeout yeah. left. You're yeah. never gonna use it again. No. You could talk things over. Yep. But they opt to not take one. Hence why I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. We can talk all we want. Yeah, it, just it doesn't, doesn't mean matter. I have to listen. It doesn't to mean it, it doesn't mean squat. <laughs> all right, here we go, Billy. Kev, this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the game. Oh, oh my God, Billy! Tell me they did. Billy, yes, I think they, they did. Time they out. did. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right, Coach Pete. <laughs> so they did take a timeout. Like I said, it's never a bad idea. That was the last timeout you have. So I know you're not going to use again. Might as well just talk things over there for the onside kick. Because this is the ball game. This is the ball if game. If Mr. Accordia gets it, they're only down they a field goal with one shot. timeout, and they'll be in good position. Yeah. Like they'll they be in a timeout? relatively good spot of the field. I don't think they have a timeout. Oh, I said no timeout. Oh, no timeouts. All right, yeah, yeah. 101, no timeouts. If they recover this, they'll be around midfield. Yeah. And with Dennis Senny's range, especially yeah. this year, you're probably yep. only get and the have offensive to go 25 weapons. yards. I mean, I wouldn't – if Ms. Accordia gets this ball back, I wouldn't rule out a touchdown. It, this is – yeah. Like I said, this is the game. Coach Ross getting some water right now. I'm sure he's a little nervous. He's very nervous. I – I can only imagine what he's at right now. This is the magical run, you know what I mean? This is the this, Cinderella this is, run. This is. This you is know, the story of Cilla, the Cinderella. Yeah, this is the story of the Mac right now. Hell, story of story of D3, if I'm to be honest. And and you don't want to see it run out right now. So So here we go. The onside kick. It is a good one. Oh! And, and it's a good is one. Got it. Got it. What a perfect onside kick. FDU was in no position to get that. Legs. He went 10 yards. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. That was awesome. My goodness, what a great play for the Misericordia Cougars there. They have the ball, like I said, uh -huh. at midfield. They only need 25 yards to get in the field goal range for Denniseni. We are still here. This game could still possibly go into overtime. And we <laughs> I haven't seen Mangelsdorf this fired up in, in a long, long time. time. This is great to see, Billy. My goodness, so Misericordia is still in this game. 
Williams, look at the throw. He's got his Gillison on the outside, and there will be a catch. That was an NFL catch. Tony Totap, 7-11, whatever you want to call Gillison, that's a first down. Oh, man, great pass there from Williams to Gillison on the sideline. Seconds left. Williams looking to throw. He has a solid pocket to throw the ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Lord. Almost intercepted. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you know what? When you have a gunslinger, though, that's the op that's that's the chance you take sometimes. Miscommunication there almost cost them the game. Yep. It could have been intercepted. It was not, thank goodness. My goodness, I am, I unbelievable they got the onside kick, but they have to finish now. It means nothing unless they score. Ball's out. They're now oh. looking to throw, and they're looking to Dieter on the right side. Incomplete. Third and 10. You are not exactly, you are not in Dennis Sunny. No, you're yet. not. I don't know what his long is, but I know last week he hit a 31 yarder. Um, And they, and they're trying to signal for MU to get loud. Yeah, no, you don't want to get you loud. You do not yet. want to be loud when the offense is on the field. Williams looking to throw. Oh, you are clean and Kelly across the middle. That will be That's a catch. That's a good for a catch. Hold that catch, and then that is a first down here. Keep going, keep going. There is 43.7 seconds left. The clock has they're stopped gonna spike for the it. change. They're going to spike it right now. 40 seconds and rolling. They spike it. And Kevin, 39.5 left. A good thing to remember here. Clayton Kelly, one of my agent X's, man. A good thing to remember here is if they do have a penalty of some sort, there could be some kind of runoff. Runoff, so yeah. So they have to be aware yes. of that. Yep. So that'd be a 10 second runoff, yeah. and then the clock would start rolling yep. after. So crucial time for there to be no penalties right now. This game is really going great for my regular heartbeat that I already have. But Williams is throwing, he is looking for Gillison, touchdown! As they touch down! Gillison! He had two feet in! That is touchdown! Touchdown! 7 11! Tony Tota! Whatever you want to call him! As a touchdown, Mr. Accordia! 36 33 and one of the craziest finishes oh, I have man. ever been able to witness! My, my goodness! The Jesus magic Pat. doesn't end. Billy, there's still 32 seconds left of football, though. And there is a PAT they have to make right now have to, hit to this. ensure that FDU needs a touchdown to win. And it's woo! good. Looks a little wobbly, but Whoa. it went through. 37-33 here, Kev. What a game. Wow. What a Billy. game. Wow. And I said it. I did say you cannot rule out a touchdown for this Misericordia team. Sam with a great double move. If you didn't see it, it was a stop and go. Stopped at five. Took a look. Went around the outside. Perfect ball from Brady Williams. Tony toe taps, like you like to call him. Sammy sideline. Sammy sideline. 7 11. Tony Tone Number 11. 7 11. Magic man for Brady. Whatever you want to call these people, that is a touchdown. Sam Gillison's second touchdown of the game. Whew. And one of the most unbelievable catches looked like Santonio San Holmes, Steelers against the Cardinals in 2009 in that Super Bowl when Big Ben threw him that pass in the back of the end zone. Sort of reminiscent of that. Great catch. Sort of like Alshon Jeffries last year in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, you could compare that to so many different things. Corey Clement. Wow. Just wow, Billy. I love sports, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I really uh. do. Football's my favorite. Oh, Baseball man. second close. <laughs> Squib, right? Yeah. Uh, no. I, I would can't. He has a yeah. boot. I yeah. mean, I saw him yeah. with touchbacks before. Get the stop here. Get the and stop. And it will be fielded at the five-yard line. Stick five. by Zach Corzell. Stick by Zach Corzell. 28.5 seconds left. And the ball is around that 12-yard line, so they have to go 88 yards to win this game, Kevin, in 28 and a half seconds with keep, no timeouts. Keep people in the back. They have been burning now you on long 
Think, think about this. Day. I said use the timeout before on the onside kick. Yeah. But now looking now back on it, yeah. you really could have used really that timeout. Use here, yeah. But I, I still think they oh, have right, to that's take. the right they call. That's the right take. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Because the onside kick is such a variable. You know what I mean? You don't expect so first it. down here, Green in the pocket. He's They're going only deep. rushing three. They're going deep. It is to Panzeroni. Panzeroni's going to have the first, the first down, down. So the clock, and the will, clock stop. will stop for a little, a little bit, bit as they set the chains. And now they're going to spike the ball. And they spike it right away. At the 27 yard line. So, if, Kevin, if they get to around the 50 yard line, they yeah. can make that interesting. They can make that interesting. So I think they're going right Philly, now. They need a touchdown. Remember. Yeah. They yeah. Need a but touchdown. they could, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Area, yep, yep. You know, they're playing press coverage on the outsides. I love it. I love it. They're playing press. Balls up. Coming across the middle. He did not get the first down. And that is Alan here. That's Blackman. Blackman didn't get the first. There's 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, seven, six, six. They spike and it, it with 6.8. 6.8 seconds left. And I think you have time. Oh, it is fourth down. Wow. So you got to get a first here. Oh, man. So now you're at .7 seconds. Do you try and hit a quick out route and get the first bounds or the first uh, down then set up? Or do you just go for it right now? I don't know. I don't, I don't that's know. That's the toughest decision. 6.8. Uh, I don't know. I send. I send three long and have one go towards the outside. I try and scramble and try and get something. I try and do a little razzle. Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, 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 oh. Right in the Kennedy right Brady's hand. Brady's hand. And, and that will be the ball game. game. There is nothing left on the scoreboard. 37, 33. Misericordia. K. Ugers. That's a K. Ugers win. They proved to 5 0 in the match. One of the most unbelievable games I have ever announced. And the fairy tale keeps in going. My life, the Cinderella story, as someone called, keeps on going. We are going to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in today. MCN 87 YouTube channel. A final score: Misericordia 33. No, no Misericordia 37. Or excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> Misericordia 37. The Cougars 37, and the FDU Forum Devils 33. Thanks for tuning Good in. Good night folks. and have a great day.